let us begin that one thing everybody takes off of burgers. So, oh, does anybody feel, does anybody feel confident? I'm on um, four hit points. I meant, I meant, I meant I mean, about, shit. I meant about, uh, giving us a recap. Oh. Uh, uh -oh. Yeah, confidence I mean, in your skills is something I'm also lacking, but I'm here for it. <laughs> I, I can do a recap if no one else wants to. Uh, I mean, do you want to? I do it a lot, so I'm used to it, but I don't mind if someone else wants to do it. Here, I'll I'll give it a try, and if there's any gaps, let me know. Okay, so basically, summarization is... We dealt with a haughty no noble that he didn't expect us to deal with for so long. He got moited as soon as he stepped out. I saw the body and was like, God damn it, Ore Ore. And we all got together. Uh, Corby had found a secret passage, was calling us in. Uh, worker was like, what are you doing here? And then was like, oh, the passage smells like corpses. Oh, just go. Just go. I said, just go. And we go down, and we did the wonderful thing that we should always do in a D&D game. We split the party. Uh, one of our, one group, I believe it was, uh, Q's character, J Jack, and, uh... I don't exactly remember who went <laughs> where, but I know Ore Ore and... Yo, be uh, quiet, he's talking to himself. Were somewhere. <laughs> and... Jacob went over to, uh, on his, I think it was either on his own or with, like, Corby or something, uh, to the right, found some, some freaky deaky shit going on with a tied up noble looking guy with some cultists of the, 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 the dark, the, 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 the three, <laughs> I can't remember the title, uh, but, uh, acolytes of, like, Bane, uh, murder, a uh, ball, ball, that's it. And I don't think there was a Merkel acolyte, but uh, anyways, uh, sh he gets his shit kicked in for a little bit. Uh, we all hear this uh, while me and Tarsival are off to the left, like looking at this stone face thing, couldn't get it. So we're all dashing our way towards him like, huh, I wonder what's going on. I'm sure he's fine, right? Cut to him getting, again, shit kicked in. And eventually we deal with these cultists by the skin of our teeth. We take a long rest with uh, the recent, now freed noble, who is currently passed out, and uh, eventually, after a long rest, we go to this door we didn't check out, and immediately it blows up in our face. I believe that's where we ended. That was roughly where we ended, and not many details were missed, which was fantastic. Enough to inspire a little bit of confidence. And for it, you stand here now in this shin high water the eyebrows of some people missing the beards of other people missing my stubble you have freedom of movement as the cave area that you are in in this particular area seems rather fakey as some of the swollen supports seem to slowly smolder and burn away to the north east of this cavern you have heard the wall potentially the ceiling crumble in well i'm gonna be brave let's see here uh hmm. actually i'm gonna back up a little bit and is there looking up at like the beams and like ceiling uh how long could I estimate it, these would last before they start to possibly give way? These particular ones, um, they reckon you've maybe got about four hours, provided they don't fall in any particular organized fashion. Like, if they fall in a particular, like, you know, if they all fall, in so if one falls, rather, in such a way that topples another, that could topple another, that could topple another, you got about five seconds. Dominoes? Yeah, however, you know, if they collapse down onto themselves rather than in or out, easily good five hours. You know. Okay. 
Well, I'm just gonna put, 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 put. Oh, there's a staircase here. Hmm. Hold on, before we go, uh, I'm just gonna, you see him pull out a syringe, and I'm gonna cast Cure Wounds on myself real quick. Because I'm on four hit points. Jack, and as you start heading up further into this area, you see, eventually, the crumbled and collapsed wall. I don't see anything. I said eventually. You do blind sight. I'm just stopping you having to go up so far. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> I'm being considerate. Okay, thank you. Corby, you look and listen in this particular area as everyone moves through. You hear no additional steps. See no footsteps. See no, you know, movements. But you do occasionally see rats and the such crawling through broken stones uh no one seems to be responding to the explosion though no rather odd one and i'll move back to the group first of all rupert this dry partially collapsed room contains a stone altar with humanoid skulls and bones piled around it the top of the altar covered with dozens of half melted candles of black wax all currently unlit. Is there any valuables on the table? You're a paladin. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, how, how much stock do you put in human guts? <laughs> Ignore I asked. <laughs> like, it's guts and candles. Actually, given this place, <laughs> actually, given this body. I'm guessing this is a, uh, a sacrifice to possibly Baal, given the uh, corpse on the table. Need a body donor. Uh, more so a uh, ritualistic murder, probably. Mm. I was talking about for you, but the demon works too. Oh. Uh, no. I'm not that close to death yet. <laughs> I say as I'm sitting here on eight hit points. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I don't know. Do you know anything about the occult or freaky deaky, as it were? Uh, not in, in places like this. I tend to stay away from the sack. Sort of l lot, not my sort of crowd. Would Corby know anything about what this might be? Is it a who this might be dedicated to? Um, looking around, doesn't seem like it's dedicated particularly to anyone. It just seems like an offering table. Is it an offering table or is it like a feasting table where something might eat from it? Um, Definitely the type of altar where you would do some sacrificing, do some preparing. Um, And again, as for eating it, I mean, if you're a cannibal, you might eat from it. Well, if you're not human, or not. Hey, hey, hey. Not all non-humans. <laughs> Sorry if I wasn't listening, but is the, is it fresh? Oh, uh, I don't think anyone asked that. I don't think I heard you say that. Um, Fresh-ish, I'll say. There's blood, some dried, some tacky. Um, definitely darkened, but not fully dry. Can I like, roll history and then hope roll something to see how long or how old it is? Medicine. Actually, I was going to say. I was going to suggest that uh, I'm a doctor, I could help. What do you want me to roll? Medicine. And you oh. can roll with advantage, as it sounds like Rupert is giving you help. Medicine. Let's see, given the state of the body, the state of decay... Mm -hmm. Again, no body, it's just parts. Um, well, part, part, given the parts of the Only body. just, uh, maybe only about 12 hours old. 
The wet, Hi. dank, dark. What up? Yeah. First one. Oh, uh, giving my given my history is in having my proficiency in religion and history. Would I have any knowledge on like uh, what it was for, or like what it specifically, like what its purpose is, or anything like that? Hmm. Sacrifice for the sake of sacrifice, really. Um, Baal is the lord of murder, and however that mor however that murder comes about, you know. Anything afterwards is just set decoration, as far as he's concerned. My friend, this body is pretty fresh, or these parts are pretty fresh. My guess is I'm really hoping it was due to those acolytes we just killed. Otherwise, we may have problems support. Hey, um, can I heal myself for 10 hit points? Just tell me you're doing it. You've got the stuff to do it, so do it. And just amend your sheet accordingly. I'm assuming you're using your lay on hands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so. I. Is it. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. And then just remove the 10 from your features, and you're good to go. I, I found a door. Hopefully, it's not trapped this time. In fact, uh, I am proficient in thieves. So I was wondering if I could check for traps. Yeah. So what role would you like me to make? Uh, investigation or perception. Investigation. Yeah. Oh, it's a swollen door. Wait, Wait. swollen? You said swollen. Yeah. Like water log swollen. Similar to the door that you saw previously. Oh, like the door we opened to get in here? Like the one over here. And to a lesser extent, oh, the one, one over there as well, yeah. Is there, like, water... Like, doors always have, like, a little bit of gap between them. Is there, like, a little bit of water coming out or at all? No. It's... Swollen, but there's nothing leaking from it. I don't, I don't know if there's any traps. I didn't find anything, but there's something odd about the door. It's weirdly swollen. What does swollen door mean? It's a wooden door that's swollen, similar to the previous one. Um, looks like water, water damage type swollen. So you know, given the water use of walkthrough. Has been anywhere between shin high to waist high. This place is probably prone to flooding. Wood and water. They're they're not the best of friends. Uh, can I open the door. Yeah, you can if you want. You can try. The door opens down to a set of cobbled stone. Stairs. Anything? Any traps? Uh, no, thank you. Alright. Uh, you know, I've fucked this one up, and it's too late. But just for my, just for future Matthew, I'm putting the door here. But I'm also keeping the door unlocked because you technically have already walked past there, and have seen the contents of behind the door. I have. Oh, I don't know if he has. You walked yeah. past it. Remember, I only ten feet. Ah, yeah. Forgot about that. Is is that a rat? <laughs> well, if it looked like a rat and it acted like a rat, then it probably is a rat. Cute little rat, though, ain't it? Oh, look at the little fella. Have you feasted on any corpses, friend? It kind of looks and watches the noise where it goes and. So I'm kind of running in a little circle in that. Oh, Well, there's some fresh dead acolytes over there for you, my little friend. <laughs> it starts cleaning itself and like rubbing its whiskers. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I want to do this. Can I try to approach the rat without startling it? You've been talking to it, so sure. So I... 
just carefully approaching, like, hello, little fella. The rat pulls out a bucket of paint, paints the door, and walks through it. <laughs> looks at you and, you know, still cutting itself, looking up. Humans don't seem, doesn't seem to give a fuck about you. Doesn't see you as a threat. Like, I'm going to give it, like, I don't know, uh, what's usually in rations, dry food, hard... <coughs> <laughs> Dying. Anyways. Those eight points really like... get into them. <laughs> yeah. Just oh uh, hey little <clears throat> Anyways. Uh, I, I I give it like some nuts for my rations. It's gonna start taking it and just devouring it like you want like a kind of biggish nut just get immediately turn it like fucking powder. Oh, I'm going to call you Archimedes One. <laughs> Dread to think what happened to two. <laughs> I don't like hmm. that you are implying that there's going to be more, that you are also going to name the same name. I name every animal I find Archimedes. Oh. Wait a minute, no, that's not number one, that's number 52. Sorry, sorry, I was mistaken. What happened to the other ones? Oh no, they're still alive. I just, I literally name every animal I see Archimedes. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, if you were, if you were a deer, I would call you Archimedes. But unfortunately, you're a humanoid. But, you know, good enough. Stop. For that, for once in my life, I am grateful. So walking down this <laughs> small area, as it gets tighter and tighter, at the bottom of those stairs, you can see more cold, dank, mangy water. And about waist high. So, do we wish to go further, or do we want to roll back? Um. <laughs> There's not much waiting for us back there, besides another corridor, so... Fair, but also that noble. Are we sure we should just leave him there? I mean, my recollection, <laughs> Cube is constantly carrying him. Oh wait, you still carry him? I thought you set him down. I made the my assumption bad. he picked him back up. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay, then retract what I said. Uh, just well, if, uh, I vote we use the noble as a meat shield, at least. If body's unconscious. I agree. Well, lead the way, no. my astute friend. Alright, let's go. As I just pat him on the back. I'm going to point out it's a very terribly walled area, by the way. Like, even in the actual official map, horrible walls. You start getting sick. This is the fucking D and D nutty putty caves. <laughs> you start making your way down to tile. <laughs> this area. Oh, um. Actually, I'm gonna back away from that door. <laughs> you can deal with the front. Um, As you see so... another waterlogged door. It's up to about waist high. With war. Um. Is there any way I could look through the cracks or look through the yeah. hole or just. Yeah. yeah, you can look through, you don't see any much. And do I hear anything? No. You hear a lot of dripping water. Not like, you know, drip, drip, but more like a small. Steady stream. Can I like gently open the door? Yeah, yeah. You can push it open and the water level seems to wash up the back wall before washing back through and it raises a little bit before sinking back down. I thought we were in Baldur's Gate, not Water Deep. Oh, fuck you. Yeah. 
Why do I feel like I've just it sealed our fate? <laughs> so I am <laughs> doing something important. I like my doom for that pun. Let's see. Wait, what did you say? First of all, what did you say? I said I will feed you to the ball first. So you just look in this area, sorry. Um, I realized very quickly that I'm um, of a, okay. you are all level two, someone's still level one, so I was like, oh, quick, we've got to get you leveled up at the same time. <laughs> this here area. Go back a page, right? No, yes, no, maybe. Ah, this flooded, rubble-strewn tunnel leads to a room with four narrow... Uh, that narrows to a width of two and a half foot in places. Four rotted wooden beams rise from the murky water to brace the ceiling and you can see that rubble piled next to the wall is where that stream of water seems to be coming in. Oh, water. Am I, am I mad to be able to see through this wall? I forgot to put a wall there. Um, that's supposed to be the part that's covered in rubble. It's the void. It's because of how weird the walls are and my... My perfectionist self with these walls, I try to make them look as good as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Uphand, congratulations. Welcome to the edge of the universe. Barcelona's going to start getting a calling from beyond the void. <laughs> Wait, did you say you were going to feed me the paw? I feel like I'm more fitting for Bane than anything. <clears throat> Does Aura Aura hear anything from the North Passage? Yes. A distinct bumping. Rhythmic. Panicked. No, like squeaking or springs or anything like that. No, it's very much a banging that seems to be trying to move something. Something's potentially trapped. Can I? He will. He, he will mention for... that. Mm. Well, you have sharp ears. At least something of you is sharp. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, I made lots of things sharp. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, low ball. He's not here to defend himself. It's all right. We get Tom. Yeah. <laughs> And actually, um, as we're approaching this thumping, uh, I just want to say, uh, Rupert is ready his crossbow to shoot at, at the first sign of a hostile action. Stop. See here, murky foul water surrounds this stone sarcophagus resting in the middle of the crypt. The lid has cracks on it that seem to almost cut it into three. However, it's still one solid piece. And from underneath, so you can hear from the lead this as if something is trying its damnedest to get out. Or, or it reaches out and taps on it. Hello! <laughs> Maybe it's a code three, and then two, and then three again. Nope. Yep. Sorry. My, my food came there. What's, in, what's this big box? It's called a sarcophagus. <laughs> And it's making can something it? noise. Yeah, it's or or taps on it, and you can push him a strength check. Oh, okay. I have my crossbow aimed at it in case it's something threatening. As you, with all reckless abandon, push at the sarcophagus, the lid scrapes and smashes into the water. Beard, do you want to describe what everyone sees? Okay. Um, it's like it's a, a very young woman. With My guy, not you. <laughs> she looks like not you. Man. No. <laughs> so you see um, a really nice uh, Eladrin. Uh, she's quite tall and she has pale pink hair. Um, she's beautiful. Uh, and she's been trapped there, so she's not as beautiful as she can be. 
Um, and she's really scared. And yeah, she's dressed in pink or what's left of the pink. And she has a really nice stuff with uh, flowers on it. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's me. A strange, horned figure, t incredibly dirty, hunched, of indeterminate size. Uh, as much as you, do you like baths? Um, what what are you doing here? Like, asking if this? you like baths. Depends. It depends. I was trapped here. Like, what are? You? Oh my god. As I see everyone, I'm like, oh God, oh God. what are you doing here? Are you here to, to kill me? Bear in mind that I do have my crossbow pointed <laughs> straight at you. <laughs> they, they told me they would sacrifice me. Is, is that now? Wait, 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 wait. You're not with the cultists. As he sort of like partially lowers the crossbow. No, the cultists kidnapped me and, and they were saying they were going to sacrifice me to bow the bow. The god of murder? Or are you them? Like you, you don't seem like them, but oh, you're no, scary. Oh, no, we killed them, like, three rooms ago. Uh, sorry, uh, here, let me help you out. As he, like, <laughs> lowers, puts the crossbow in hand, 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 holds out his other. Thank you. Th thank you. Okay. Yeah, the, they were gonna leave me here, leave me here to die in this sarcophagus. Like, what the hell? That's not Crude. a good sacrifice. Crude. At least be creative, uh, like surgically removing the fingers or something. Hmm. Please be so, normal. My name is Zidia. Zidia? Zidia, yeah. Uh, Rupert. Rupert. Nice Did they mention you. a specific purpose to bringing you here? Or were they just doing it to simply do it? Just sacrifice me to Bol, the god of murder. That, that's what I know. Wait, I see. How many did you see or hear? That is a great question. <laughs> a few, I'm not sure. I like that answer. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully that few was the one we uh, strangled. Or it looks in the sarcophagus. Is there anything else in there? Like, like, Nothing. Was else. underneath her? Okay. I take my stuff and I try, try to clean myself a bit, like ugh, being freaked by being in the sarcophagus. Ugh. You know, you know, Ori, Ori, you walking in water technically means your legs are getting a bath. You shut your dirty that's, mouth. That <laughs> really makes sense. I think whatever remains in this water is much dirtier than anything he possibly had on before. Thank my god. I wouldn't... I wouldn't be so sure. Mm. At any rate, uh, miss, I, I guess... Are you useful in a fight? I... am a bit frail, but I know magic. Good enough. Uh, you're welcome to come with us. Just, uh, don't die. I try my best, don't die either. We just saved that woman from a sarcophagus, and you're asking if she's useful in a fight? Well, I, I want to assess any comrades we bring along. I mean, that noble oh. that man's carrying is use, more useful, more useless than a sack of shit. The Lord saved my soul. I don't think the Lord is here. Oh, not yours. Well, if you're okay, I will follow you, so at least I can escape this this place. Just stay nearby. Right. Yeah, and yeah. also, just so you know, I'll charge you for any medical care. As he's sort of <laughs> walking back. In Christ. <laughs> Who's Christ? <laughs> Not in this pantheon. <laughs> <laughs> as it is you enter into the water, it is cold it's not pleasant but mm. you know it's also not a coffin yeah it's better than being trapped in a sarcophagus yeah corby it's safe you can come out from hiding or whatever you are doing mm, yeah 
While hiding, I was trapped. It's just some frail else. Alright, I don't know how much you saw, Liz, but yeah. You... I want to say see her forgetting whether... Yeah, you, you're holding a torch, you've got dark vision, I wonder. You're holding a torch, ain't you? <laughs> you see her in full Technicolor HD, you know, 4K and all that, 60 FPS and... Yeah. Frail is a word that people could use. <laughs> Rupert's not really nice, so I'm going to stick with Frail. Uh, hello, Archimedes52. You'll have a good rat-filled life. I hope Baldur's Gate 3 enacts public execution for your sake. What have I done to you? Nothing. Sure, I made a dumb joke, but I don't think that's worth execution. No, but it would be funny. Chopped off hand. And look, Oops. in this particular room, or or, you see on the bod, you see on the table, a body. Hmm, that's fascinating. Go get my numbers because we're now going back and forth in the book. This partially collapsed room has three wooden beams bracing its ceiling. Situated between the beams is a scorched wooden table with a human cadaver resting atop it. A frighteningly thin woman in black robes is studying the corpse, her face largely hidden under a kibble. Around her feet are swarms of skeletal rats. What, what the fuck are you doing? Oh! You can't put a woman like that. What are you That's doing? How you get shit? What are you doing to this body? What oh, is it? Vivisection? Oh, I love that. Redding oh its soul for the afterlife. What are you <laughs> doing here? Watch as the bony finger extends out. Um, I'm here to put a stop. Oh. You feel that you alone can stop the occult? No, not me alone. I got a few friends. I'm just here for money. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here to escape this place. Looks up and counts. You see five, and two have already said they're not your friend. Try again, boy. Is this person an actual <laughs> flesh or are they skeleton as well? Flesh. Flesh. Uh, Not much yeah, of it clinging know. on there, I'll be honest. Is this person yeah, alive? Yes. But alive is very much a... Oh, it's, it's, a, it's a toying cost, by the looks of it. Does she look like the type of person where if I punched her I would be like frowned upon in public? <laughs> yes. She's old. Yeah, that's the way I was thinking. Uh, madam, uh, forgive me for asking up blue, but, uh, hey, hypothetically, uh, who might you worship? I uh, worship a god. A all-powerful and ancient god called Nonya. None your business. None your fucking business, boy. <laughs> he, he saw that coming, but I love it at the same time. <laughs> okay, as I'm looking at this woman, do I see any like clear signs of like the the dead three? Like, do I see any signs of Merkel, Ball, or or uh, Bane on this woman? Or in this roll, room? Uh, roll a perception check. Must I sure. read? That's a 19. 
you see dangling from her neck a pendant. Pendant with a triangle. And a triangle with a skull. You know this as the Mark of Merkel. Well then, none your none your fucking business is quite the interesting title for Lord of the Dead, Merkel. Oh, and what are you, his messenger? Uh, I work very closely with death, you see. Uh, I'm a bit of a... I like dissect, dissecting, I like healing, or terminating. Depends on what the patient needs. Oh. Can I eat it? Can I ready an action? Yeah, what are you thinking? If she attempts to cast any sort of spell or any verbal component spell, I want to attack her with my sword. Any verbal component spell? Any spell that requires, like, you know, if it's obvious that she's making a spell, you know? Like, all move, spells move, have move. verbal components, and the verbal components to most spells are saying the spell's name. Oh, is it? Yeah. If I see her, like, you know, if it, would it be obvious if someone's casting a spell? If it's a spell that has a verbal, the, just a sole verbal component, not until they've actually said the word. If it's, yeah. if it's like another it spell with like somatic components, you know, if you start watching her shout, you know, throw up a west side dick gang tag in her hands and shout drive by, you know she's probably casting a spell drive by. Yeah. So it's. I'd say you'd know a lot of spells because Paladin. Um, however, unless she particularly does anything, it'd be a verbal component spell and it'd definitely be, um, it'd be a tough one. Right now she's very much leaning over this body and giving us all, you know, funny, crooked, evil looks, you know? Over hunched, head tilted to the side, eye a bit crazed. He's definitely you know, missing. I am rather curious about this process you're doing as a man of medicine. As I just like take a few steps closer. Oh. oh. Man of medicine, you say? What medicine is that? Oh, you know, a bit of self experimentation as I sort of like wave my nearly black hands around a bit of uh, surgery occasional euthanasia do you watch as she kind of darts over the table kind of holding it and comes up to grab your hand and just kind of takes a look oh you ever been curious about the afterlife what that may entail. What the hell? <laughs> As I sort of like pull my hand out of her grasp, I'm like, yes, well, I'm curious, sure, but I'd rather, if it involves my input personally, as in I die, I'd rather not. That's the best time. When she does, you watch as she opens her arms wide. It's an embrace. She looks. It's time to learn about death. It's time. The room gets black and dark. Now we need to roll initiative. Right, damn it, I knew I should have took a devil sight. <laughs> I will place our template from here. So if it's absolute darkness, is this the darkness spell or yes. like fish? Okay, just making yeah, sure. Yeah, it's magical darkness, I think. Okay, I was just making sure. Thank you. Uh, normal. I love spectacle. I do. That, uh, yeah. like, uh, like, while we're getting stopped, that was a very cool thing. Like, what oh, you do God. the gesture? 
the only reason I put a webcam on when I am playing is so I can be dramatic. Honestly, it's very helpful. I thought it I would be. I need to get a webcam one of I need to get a webcam myself one of these days for the, for that. I think the heating might be on. Let's see, so dun 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 dun. Oh yeah, there's other things to roll into initiative. Uh, I'm assuming the rats. <laughs> the rats. Aw oh, damn it, not the rats. I'm gonna move these rats because they're on top of Jacken. But they were under her cloak. They're oh. little cute undead looking rats. I hear Archimedes! <laughs> Let's roll things off to an excellent start with Jacken on the precipice of this darkness. Um, can I like jump onto the table? You can, as you jump on into the darkness. Where the fuck did everyone go? Actually, <laughs> actually, doesn't matter, you get 10 foot of blind sight. <laughs> Where the fuck did everyone else go? Um, I want to just slap her with my longsword. Yeah, rock it. A 19 for 6 hits. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I was like waiting for an extra attack. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's <laughs> literally all I have. It, that's that's it. It. Boom, boom, bang, and then I got to make a... Pawn save. Ripper, he's gonna hear the bash, this, ah, the voice in front of you, but it's dark. Where is everyone? Oh, you know where Or is, he smells. Because <laughs> he like, wrinkles his nose, oh god, but I know where Or is, I know where all these is, I don't actually know his name. <laughs> I'm just, I think I'm gonna, he's gonna risk any opportunity and just try to back away from this darkness as far as possible. Whoops, that's the wrong way. Ooh. He's just gonna try to backpedal as much as possible. Yep. You know, it's dark coming out, you look in the center of this room, there is just darkness. The table, two Corby. pillars, your friends, gone. Ooh, Corby and Zadia, still there. Corby. I don't suppose you can see through magical darkness, can you? No. Lovely. Well, I guess I can use this time to lick my wounds a little, as I'm gonna use cure wounds on myself. Okay. Uh, Lovely. That brings me up to almost max. Did I announce your turn? Lovely. Yep, that is, that's it for my turn. Kill. Corby. Uh, I will ready in action. Mm -hmm. that if anyone who, or anything who is not from my party, emerges from the darkness, I will shoot them with an arrow. Okay. Then, as you hold that one... What, what? what the fuck? And he's going to back up. <laughs> Plays this character so well. And he will ready his mates to hit anything that comes out. Right. Then... The little bitty rats, they're gonna. I refuse to believe these rats have advantage on smell based perception checks given their fucking skeletons. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> refuse. <laughs> yes, they kinda, you know, move a little bit and you feel them at your heels. And then. Oh, yeah, it is Jacken. Who thematically is on a table. So therefore, yeah, these rats can't jump, man. They, <laughs> they go. Jack, you watch as the rats just vanish under the table. <laughs> First of all, you feel the movement, the skittering, scuttering, scattering at your feet, and then you feel something. It kind of just rips a bit of leather in your shoe or such, but doesn't do much else. Do you all hear the hackling, hackling of the 
Master of Souls. You, my poor weather friend who has hit it, are immediately on the back end as you whack the back. You feel something come at you. But you see it coming, you dodge it away as this flail with a skull on the end of it comes flying by and it does you know, it takes a step back from you. Is that an opportunity attack? That is. I do so. You, yeah. What? What? Um, it, rolled. it moved five foot but he's got blind sight so he can see it. Uh, Farcible, passive perception. Yeah, I'd say Farcible, you could feel him move, feel her move. Um, attack of opportunity you could take would be at disadvantage, have to be melee. 15 for 3 hits. And I've got a roll of con save. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Really. Farcible, you take opportunity of attack, yay nay. Uh, sure. Melee attack, disadvantage, hold control when you make the attack and it'll roll it twice. Seventeen for six. That's a fucking good hit. He's gonna stab in, and once more, I got to do that. Eh. Oh boy, I'm in danger. <laughs> As the concentration drops, Corby. Fifteen for ten will hit because fuck uh. me if a decent AC is something. And I'm going to use my mark for an extra d4. Okay, okay. I'm going to double check that in the future, but right now, yeah. Yep, zero. Okay, so I can see it now? Yep. Wait, my mouse is not working for some reason. Okay, got back. So I'm going to move a little bit. Why is it working? Where are you trying to move to? Um, oh, my mouse is back. Just there, and I'm gonna fireball to the Master of Soul. Oh, of course. Oh, 18. Or what? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, damage I tried. Is damage. <laughs> and I'm just gonna go back in the corner. And that's it. Okay. First of all. All right, so I'm like completely blind at this moment, right? I can just feel the rats, but they're not really doing anything. No, the darkness has dropped. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're you're you're, you're twenty two. Done it. Sick. Um. Let's see. Um. Are the rats causing any issues, or are they still just kind of... They're very much hostile towards you. Um, but, you know how that way, like, it's just a little swarm of rats right now? They haven't seemed to hurt anyone. Um, I'd rather deal with them now. Would, like... How would... I'm trying to think of how to... How to get rid of them in a way because i feel like just stepping on them wouldn't work that well or would it i know it'll work really well you just have to be prepared for what we call in the business collateral damage oh great i mean fireball shit. what fireball okay. I mean, it's, it's, think about it, it's only or or What are you feeling? Do you need assist? Would you like assist? I'm just confused on what you mean. I'm joking with you, don't worry. Oh, okay. Don't so you said stepping on them will just like work? Hey, the class is an attack. They have they have an armor class and all the rest of it. Uh, you would be making an unarmed attack. Yeah. Um, it's your choice whether or not you want to step on them and deal one damage. Yeah. Because I have, the only thing I really have is a dagger on me, so I don't think <laughs> dropping down to the ground and stabbing them would be a, like a thing besides the... I'm sorry, Eldritch Blast? 
I could. Let go. Uh. Blast the red. Blast the red. Why not? Doesn't okay. necessarily need to be the ones right next to you. It could be the ones under the table. That's true. Uh, I'm just gonna play uh, how would be. I'm playing character, not as wise. Uh, I'll bless the ones next to me. A seven would miss. It would be a disadvantage, but a miss is a miss regardless. Is there anything else you're Yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna move. Push space bars, you do it. Oh. Shit. Yeah, I forgot I was on measure. Don't worry. Good. Yep. Did I ask your time? Uh, no. Jacqueline. Those little rats are under the table, by the way. It's just so it's a little yeah. longer in darkness. People can see them. Uh, I'm going to, like, shift slightly. Last step on the body. The end of the table. Yeah. Just going to swing at this old woman's Whee. head. Yep. I'm going to roll. Shield. You swing in and she... <laughs> <laughs> what would have been a hit is never a miss. Did Anthony oh. ask your turn? Not ends my turn. Rupert. Alright, I'm gonna rush back in and, you know, dual wielding uh, with the uh, dagger and hand axe, charging in for a knife and a chop. I'm not gonna insult you. Uh, Eight misses. It's, hold on, it's not letting me roll the hand X. We had this issue before. Given rule is un unidentified. Um, yeah, give me a second. I'll, I'll just re-import you one, my guy. What are you not? No, I am not customizing a hand X. Uh, dun dun. There you go. Also, this is. That shield is really something. <laughs> Did I announce your turn? I can't! I can't saw through this shield! That, that is all. Roll it over to Corby, he's gonna watch this. He comes in and. <laughs> nothing. Uh, is she again at her? Yeah. Um, hmm? 18 hits or 4. And another D4 because of the mark is still Eight. on her. Yep. And then I'm just going to dip her around the corner. Out of sight. Yeah, yeah. End turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Or or. Or or is a bit of a dick. <laughs> so he's going to move. Mm -hmm. Four to there, and they're not realizing quite what he's doing. So I, I got to flip between two. No, that's understandable. Ah, that's odd. What are you looking for? What's going on? The um, spell template doesn't fit what I thought it would be. What spell? Right. Word of Radiance. Oh, Word of Radiance is a really weird one. I thought it was five foot within me, but... Uh, no, it's a 15 foot cube. Uh, in that case, I'm going to move its one more. I'm pretty sure he's changed something on there, though. It's very cool yeah, so, feet, like, as it? for its actual description, because it may be one of those ones we are... Uh, Utter divine word burning radiance erupts from you. Each creature of your choice that you can see within range. I think he's used his own uh, homebrew because I thought it was everything within um, takes does that. Not oh, the official one. Word of radiance. Um... Yeah, no. Uh, you utter uh, divine word a burning erupts from you. Each creature of your choice that you can see within range must succeed now. Constitution saving throw, take 1d6. It's a range of 5 foot. Yes. 
So it'll be the skeleton rats and the old lady. Be my choice. Yeah, so I... Where does he get fucking 15 foot cube from? Is the part that's getting I don't know. I'll pull it up in the book in a moment. But yeah, uh, they would technically hit, so... Swing, swing, that's a fail. Swish, swash. That's a nat 20. Oh, damn. Yeah, so the fail takes 6 radiant damage. The um, 20 passes. And that's my turn. Coo -coo -coo. Little scaly rats. And see what's going on. Or or comes up. The rats are like, ah. Oh, this looks tasty. Uh, they take a bite, they get really close, and then, you know, even though they're undead, they smell that this man has not washed in quite some time, and they back off respectively. <laughs> the Wait, I sense that we sense to try to attack him, does my sentinel feet that work now? I'd say they're technically under what would be full cover to yourself, because you're still on a table and they're still under a table. Yeah, yeah, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Makes sense. Who possible? These ones come, you're going to watch as they take a wide berth around Ori Ori. We all now just hear a bag on Ori Ori. And they take a little nibble nabble at you. And this time they take that little hole that they made in your shoes and they get right through 24-7. You're going to feel that mm -hmm. nip on your feet. Oh, Jesus. You probably should go to a doctor and get that checked out. Don't even, even say that to me. me to check that. Don't Master that of Souls me. stands there. <laughs> He loves me. A worthy sacrifice. Deck save everyone. Motherfucker, did they cast what I think they did? Does save. this clear it up? Yeah. <laughs> me too. No, you're not in that circle. Oh well, it's a nice know you guys. I'm, I'm, I, uh, I'll go get my backup here. <laughs> so I don't know you yet. <laughs> she dies. Um, the rats need to make a deck safe, which is hilarious to think about. Uh, they got me two deck saves. No, and no. So the rats are dead. And oh, let's see, Ori Ori gets two. Ori Ori is unconscious. Uh, Jacqueline, very lucky for you, you take half damage. Ooh. Doctor. Doctor, very lucky. Very, very lucky. And first of oh, all, he already takes half damage. Technically what, what, takes full damage, yeah? What, what happened? Just having chest? Fireball happened. Oh, okay, fireball. Yeah. So first of all, you fail, so you take full half damage. I would like to point out, had this spell been one point of damage higher? Zeria. You watch as after the blowing fire, three of these people who saved your life lie there in the ground, twitching. They are unconscious, Shit. biting for their lives. I'm Okay, I stabilize the doctor. We're in we're an initiative oh. because there are there's no combatants, okay? There's no combatants, but there's death saving throws and checks to be made. And keeping it like that because of this. There's enough of use where it could all go in one round perfectly fine. Um but Nat 20s and that ones exist. Zivia. Zivia. Okay. I, I panic and I go towards the first one I see. I, I don't know them and I don't know their skills, so can I try to uh, to stabilize one of them? Like the one here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on you go. So medicine check. Yes. 
No. Rupert, stable. You're gonna go down and hold and you blind luck guides you as you manage to stem it all. You watch the laboured, intensive breathing and rhythmic patterns seem to lull and slow. Do you have any bonus actions oh. you wish to use? Uh, let me just check. Uh, I, I am near face step, so no. <laughs> I am not dangerous. First of all, I'm going to ask you to privately roll me 1d20, please. Whoops. Okay. Oh. And next up, Jacken. <laughs> uh, can I just try to try to, uh, stabilize or? Yeah, jump down off the table. You get down. Roll me a medicine check. Yeah. Okay. Rupert, you are now stable. We will remove you from this initiative. Corby. Um, I have the fun thing of because Aura Aura is down, I'm greyed out, so Corby can't see anything. Oh. Um, or do anything. That's okay, I will solve that. Cor problem Corby later. will move, move up and try and get next to Aura Aura, and if he can, he will cast Cure Wounds on him. Okay. Uh, you can be close enough if you just want to... Hmm, can you be close enough? For the sake of this, currently Rupert is an, a, an object. So you can stand on Rupert, um, but that's Jack and yeah, yeah. You cannot get close without using the dash action. Uh, you have a healing word on you. No. <laughs> um. Uh, in that case, I will seeing so Jack and standing next to Aura Aura. Yep. Zelia standing next to Rupert. Uh, I will dash over to Farcival then. You don't need to move. Farcival is just on your left. I'll dash over to her. Is she, is she within range then? Yeah, she. I can't see where yeah. they are because I'm. It's, like, I'll, I'll be honest with you right now. Um, Y'all have made a cute little crucifix right there. Okay, well, I mean, if if, <laughs> if, if, if Darth falls within range, I can. Can I touch yeah. her? Yeah, yeah. Or him? Sorry, 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 sorry. Do you have to? Uh, see? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you go. That's a bad joke to make for someone. <laughs> uh, yeah. Five. First of all, you are. <laughs> Straight back to it's a little warm in here all of a sudden. <laughs> Probably doing anything else. Uh, no, that's my turn. Ore, ore, uh, privately, 1d20, please, sire. Do you want pri private or blind? Private, I'll allow you to see as well. I just ask that you do not react. That's yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll roll blind. Okay. Zedia. Okay, wow, oh, I'm. So Sorry. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna go next uh, to... Oh, why can I move? Don't worry, don't worry. It's because you're holding... Mm -hmm. It looks like you're on, so don't worry about it. Just that uh, you're 10 oh, foot, yeah. and I know you can make that. You have all the movement you need to just uh, roll the appropriate check. I'm just gonna try to uh, stabilize the Ori Ori. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This work. Oh, you shit. Try this. The weirdest body ever. You got lucky with the first one, but this one, the anatomy is all weird. This is not your strong suit. Your hands are covered in absolute filth. You didn't no. even sterilize. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just like, please don't die. I don't know you, but I want to know you. <laughs> and that's it. Possible. You lie there, warm, lush. You probably burnt, but people probably can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> um. look around and one unconscious hands on necks blood rasping for air or or as everyone else is panicked to say the least is there really anything i can do for anyone i don't stand really up have... medicine check uh if that's something your character would do ah <laughs> uh... Uh, Rupert's still... Is he stable or not? He's completely stable, yeah. Okay. Is Orda Orda the only one that's not stable? He's the only one that's... Yeah, unstable. Mentally okay. and physically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we can only help with one of those. <laughs> I'll try and... 
Hit the space bar. You're in the measurement like, tool. Shit. <laughs> Don't worry. Right, I'm Pays have action. Mm, if it's your turn, but it's not your turn. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're uh, right. It's a medicine check, right? Yep. Yeah. And so you press down. Or your breathing can just stabilize, and it does. You feel confident in your ability, your brush with death. I am now going to require both Rupert and Oriori to roll me D4s. Alright. Alright. We have to wait until the wake up. Cool. Uh, two and three hours, respective. Um, that there is short rest material. So in this room, the body of the woman lies there, charred and in cinders. The body on the table, basically non-existent now. The table itself burning away, the wooden support beams surprisingly still going strong. Any loot? Is there a healer? Is there a healer here? I am done here. Can someone? Yeah, they're both Either? knocked out. Shit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, my liver. Well, maybe we can. You, you can because I have no strength. Carry them. Maybe we could just have a short rest here. Is it safe enough? I haven't been in this part. I wasn't in a fucking coffee. I don't think it's hey. safe. I don't think it's. I don't think really have, we have an option here. I don't think we have the ability to live with these burdens on our back. Okay, okay, and Jack, let's... Jack, Jack, can you carry three people? <laughs> um, uh, I don't want to find out. But... I can I check if someone comes up and and we can wait here and hope that no one comes. I want your liver, John. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything remaining in the ash pile? I've requested you make a roll. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you. Someone talk. No, I, I, hey, I, I've whispered it to you. Oh. What See, am I rolling, sorry? Perception? Just click a d20 and it'll do it for you. Okay. Should be in chat as a whisper. What's a whisper? A, a grey box. It should be the only other oh, thing in chat yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. Six. Um, so, whilst not much, you know, all cinder and ashes, you do find the flail skull, the, the, you know, the, the flail that was a bit of wood with the skull on it that the uh, Master of Souls was using. Very um, much still intact. Doesn't even look remotely damaged. Can I pick it up and investigate it? If you want, uh, I can. I can identify it. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I don't think you have the components okay. for that. Uh, maybe not then. I I think I forgot everything. Sorry. <laughs> uh, you, you just need a pearl worth a hundred gold pieces to identify. Yeah, no, I don't have that. I'm sorry. Uh, my bad. I will try to get that for later on. Um, am I able to deduct any magical reading? How, what, how does Arcana work in this game? Let's you know if there's some form of magic. Can I do that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. Sorry. There's nothing on it. Just so people aren't seeing black and white. It's shiny, cold. It doesn't seem to conduct heat very well. And it's very, very shiny. Almost opaquely shiny, more than anything. The reflections from it are, how would you say? They're muted. They're not mirrored. Can you describe the item again? Okay. It's like a long metal handle, maybe about, I don't know, that's 
Yeah. But six inches? No, I see how that ain't. If that's six inches, <laughs> ten <laughs> inches, and then there's about four inches of chain, and then on that chain there's hooked a skull. It's mm. a it's a flail by all other regards. Okay, I put it in my back pocket and just continue. Um, can I can Corby search or sorry, he will put the two unconscious players to rest, but he will search, sort of just pat them down. And he's looking for, particularly on Rupert, <laughs> like, you know, he's got that notebook, you know, that he gives uh, in, uh, re receipts to for medicine charges. <laughs> I can see where this is cool. I'd say it's... He's, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, looking, he's looking for that. If he finds it, he's going to write on it, Rupert owes everyone three free treatments. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll whip it off and tuck it into Rupert's pocket. Um, you know what? Give, yeah, give me, give me an investigate. Really low DC on this one. As you, you know, play him around. You know he's out for a while. Yeah, yeah. It can, it, find it. It's in his left. It's in his left breast pocket. <laughs> you find it left breast pocket. You know, flip it up and look. You can see like you know a few stubs torn off from years. Some names completely scored out you know you come to the most recent pages you see a list of you know everyone else that's been with you the past see Jacob, 40 hours you see J Jack, you see Jack and, and Tarzimal's name over and over <laughs> so, take it just this fucking medical death right, note <laughs> just write the three free rip it off put the, put the book back and then just kind of put this on top of the book yep Anyone wish to be doing anything else with this? What is essentially an impromptu short rest? I like going. As I like read my book. Yeah. Yeah. I do so. Can I pull out your black book. The very hefty leather, well worn. The silvered trim. The feather motif. Anyone else doing anything else? Um, I'm checking if there is nothing coming up to us. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, give me a perception. Uh. Damn, what's with all the tens, y'all? <laughs> uh, you stone, you know? But you yeah. don't hear anything, given the narrowness of the chambers and the fact that you have very much made a one-way path. You don't hear any doors, you don't hear any tapping of feet, clicking of heels, clanging of weapons or heavy breathing from people who look at three stairs and go, that's a lot. Yeah, I think we're safe for now, I think. First of all? Uh, I am just gonna take out like the little <laughs> parchment sheet that I've been like, you can see that all of the writing on it is just really small because it's just trying to fit it on. Um, just begins to write on sort of like keep logs and everything and make logs of the um, the things that we've seen and the things that we have uh, uh, an encountered and things regarding the occult and what they mean. General, general scholar activities. People you've murdered. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Speaking of people you murdered, I'm just about to remember who he was. Who no, was well, he again? I don't think we ever got his name, did we? I particularly gave him... Oh, he, he has one of the... He's the baker. I couldn't see the little I tag know. that I put... I couldn't see the little tag that I put on there. These see-through notepads are fucking great until they get compressed right down and then you go, oh no, I've drawn in the sacred tome. <laughs> Me mentally, I had him pegged down as Lord Farquaad in my head. <laughs> right. So, uh, time passes for it. Nothing bad happens. Uh, you can all burn. Oh, well, you can all burn a maximum of two hit die because you all have two hit die. Um, Everyone, including the down? Yeah. I mean, regardless of how long you rest for, oh. you only have two hit die. Oh, wait, I didn't roll both of them. That's why. 
Okay, there we go. Uh, first of all, you can come off with private rolls now. Oh, I didn't even mean to have it on there. Oops. That's okay. Hey, hey, Tarsival. Short rest. As Rupert, as Rupert is Short waking rest. up, just... Uh, oh, looking over at Tarsival. You, you, you're a lot taller in my dreams. Say, how do you feel about baboon hearts? Pardon? What, the, the dream part or the baboon heart? You know what? I'm just not going to question it. Okay, let me rephrase. Would you rather have your current heart or a baboon heart? Hypothetically speaking. I'm very content with my own working organs, thank you. He snaps the fingers. Damn it! <laughs> you don't look good in a medical gown. Why don't you try your own experiments on yourself for a change? I already did that as he holds up his hands. Mm. Do it again. Wait a minute. Then it'll fail. Wait a minute. I'm not dreaming now, aren't I? No. Shit. <laughs> That's why I'm leaving that up. <laughs> Are uh, you guys okay? Jackie. Like, the, the fire knocked you all out almost, like... Are you not too burned? I'm pretty sure all the hair follicles in my face are gone. I think... I don't think I'm ever going to grow a beard again. Yeah, it could be worse. We could have all have died here, like the, this ball of fire was huge. Oh, trust me, this is not the first time anything like that has happened. It'll be more coming in the future, especially if you plan on staying with us. I'd well, like to walk I over, can see give you like a pat on the shoulder and say, don't worry, I'll be here to give you any medical bills. In fact, hold on, let me see, let me double check my current ones as he oh pulls God. out the notepad. Uh, wait, who wrote in my notebook? You have terrible handwriting. That's not me. It looked like chicken scratch. <laughs> it was the master of souls. Ooh. Why would they want me to give you all free medical treatment? Well, I because have... you were down and I kind of helped and um, help you not die. I don't know. Fine, I'll give you all one free checkup. As he's like. All right, you. All right, no bruises, no no cuts, no. You don't seem particularly charred. Okay, you. You smell like a roasted bird. You smell delicious. Moving on. <laughs> hmm. You smell like roast pork. Also delicious. Is that because all cults are pigs? Ori right, right, looks absolutely wrecked. I don't care. <laughs> you found it hard to fall. Please don't smell me. <laughs> Uh, no. That's just because they're obvious. Uh, you look slightly cooked, but otherwise fine. Alright, that's your free treatment. Uh, Jacqueline, uh, you roll any hit die there out of curiosity, mate? Uh, how do I roll a hit die? What is it? So, click on, uh, go on your sheet, hover over the little bed, click on yeah. the first hourglass, and then you'll yeah. see 2d10 available. Uh, click the Ooh. roll button next to it to roll. So that's you've done it once, and then you can do it again if you wish. You gain back four hit points. Fourteen hit points maximum. And then okay. you can just close that a little bit. Call it a short rest. Yeah. <laughs> click short rest? No, you can just click the little X now. You're good. Oh, yeah. I got you, got you, got you. Boom. A quick question. Jack, can you see in the dark? Um... I can't say, but I could dance my surroundings, I guess. Ah. He's like walking up, looking you in the eyes. Maybe <laughs> one of these days I should give you uh, the old Rupert, Rupert Experimental. Maybe I can give you some better eyes. Hmm. I'll stick to my ears for now. He shrugs. Your loss. Blind How are man. you not. Have you not been arrested by now? Sample. <laughs> 
I do all the unethical stuff on myself. Okay. Well, as concerning as that is, we're going to move on. Uh, <laughs> what is the plan now? Um, are there any more doors left to explore? There might have been something back there, I believe. But I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Uh, remember when, where we saw the stone face, Tarsifa? We should revisit uh, that. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, I'll be following you because I'm lost here. <laughs> That's cool. Don't worry, I'll be here to act as your doctor. You you do have coin on you, right? Hmm. Stop driving <laughs> her. What, the doctor has to make a living? You've almost I'm died like twice, you're not living anywhere. <laughs> okay, I have to make a barely a living. You go through, walking back through this murky, thick water. You can hear this. Ah! 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 ah. I don't like those waters. Are you Watch awake? the man on Jacken's shoulder and it starts to flail a little before he falls and splashes into the water. It sets up bag still over his head. Should we remove the bag? Huh? What's in here? Yeah, we removed the bag. I removed the bag. Oh. She kind of looks. Looks up. Why are we still here? You're safe, man. You're with us. You're still here. I'm not safe. I'm yeah, adopted. Don't worry. Are. You are safe. Trust me. I find, it, I find it hard to trust someone who couldn't really take on the fight himself. You've been carrying me around this whole time. Why? Because it's my duty to act people like you. Why, why are you not killing the man that, that brought me? Why are you not killing the man that brought me here? Well, he brought me it wasn't those two, it was a Bolden man with star over his forehead. Do you know this guy? Yes, I'm in the habit of letting my friends kidnap me, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. That's a bad um, habit. <laughs> unbind me. I assume the exit's yeah. that way, and he kind of just starts like, throwing his head backwards towards here. How about we yeah. escort you there, so you make it there unharmed, or at least uh, looking him over, how injured is he? Not very. He's been unconscious for about five hours. Like, all, all of his wounds have healed. He's bruised, but... He's a lot less panicked than he was prior. Well, lucky for you, I'm a doctor, so if you get hurt along the way, I can fix you up. Well, where was he kidnapped from? I was kidnapped by the docks. Why? Corby cocks his head. What were you doing by the docks? Numbers game, numbers game, numbers game. This is there. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, looks at you. You clearly have no idea who I am. It's okay. You're, it's you're, from, you're a noble family. I, Tom knows, I don't think Corby does. I'd say Corby, it would be. It's kind of... Well, because we found out last last time that um, someone recognised him. He's from the Chasso family. Yeah, yeah, I believe that was me because I have yeah, yeah. worked in the upper. I own a number of taverns and 
Obs. How oh, do like you think I get my deliveries? From sea. From Waterdeep. Candlekeep. Luskin. It's easier to transport liquor by sea. You can also get a lot more of it. Do you think you were lured there? Or is it just happenstance? Uh, I was signing off on a delivery. And then... And I wake up here. Did the delivery person seem off in any way? No, it's the same person I've met numerous times. He started unloading and I went my separate ways. And then... Gone. Okay. Does this sound uh, believable? Is he leaving stuff out? I'd like to make some kind of read on him. I roll an insect check, yeah. Do you want it public or public. private? Or... Uh, okay. You're not going against people, so you know, okay. I have no qualms in hating. At least your rules. He's racking his brain. You can tell as he talks. He's looking and struggling himself. It's very clear that he may have a small stint of amnesia. But to him, it seems like a blink. He was... And he was in the docks, and then he was here. Was he in a particular... Were you in a particular area of the docks? I was close to the low lantern, but... I mean, almost every ship that comes into the docks is close to the low lantern tavern. Yes, tavern. Here, yourself as Baldarians. The low lantern tavern, as you recall... It's a rather peculiar area. It is a ship. However, it's so old, weathered, and run down that it's no longer seaworthy and has been converted into what is essentially a three-story tavern. Would Corby know if there's any, like, link to the guild or any other like shady stuff about the, that tab tavern um it's definitely in a shadier part of the city but you know the amount yeah. of criminal activity that would run through even a even a docks in modern day could class that as shady yeah uh I don't know what to do. Okay. Do we want to take them out first, or do we want to continue our investigation? Or do we want to split again? Where am I? Uh, you're, underneath, you're underneath the uh, bathhouse. Bathhouse where? Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of this bathhouse in particular. I'm pretty sure I bullshitted it. Nymph's bathhouse. Uh, yep, but I'll take it. Nymph's. You're under uh, the Nymph's bathhouse. Uh, turns out uh, there's a reason why you shouldn't come here at night. This is probably it. The company lives. Let me go. I live local. Get out of here. We should probably at least see you to the exit before we continue our investigation. We don't know if there's anyone else still looking here. And the exit this way. Points. Towards that. Points here. Yeah. Alright, shall we get going, guys? As what are you? Or is there anything else you guys want to say or do with this noble? No. Seems to have lost his mind. I know the feeling. 
Bro, I lost mine ages ago. It's not that bad of an affliction. We know. Oh, don't act like you're any better. I'm sure there's something dinging in that skull of yours. Hi, welcome to more consistent advert break. So, uh, no news, nothing new here. This is just a good time to pause. Um, remember that we are on Patreon, we are on Coffee, and we are on Twitter. We will also be posting maps soon. If not already, I'm probably maps will be posted by now. What am I saying? It's 2024, he says, uh, on um, 9 minutes past 12 in the morning on October the... 18th, 2023. And once more to the doors, north, south, east, and the open area to the west. We, we really should hold off on that, or... <laughs> it was that way. <laughs> That sent me out. That was beautiful. Uh, As he's like reaching out before you open the door, just. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the southern door here bearing the mark of Merkel. Lying in this otherwise empty room that you have noticed are pale bodies of three humans in filthy black robes arranged in a triangular formation. He lit a torch between them. A rough-hewn staircase to the left leads down into an unlit chamber. Well, this is festive. Any, any valuables or any like discernment equipment? Uh, are there any distinguishing things about these people, or are they just corpses? Roll an investigation check. I guess I would have ended up like that if you didn't found me. Do you start feeling through? You know, give it the good old da 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 da. Then you hear in a odd guttural language. Anyone here speak Abyssal? Yeah. Abyssal? Yes. Uh, here, in Abyssal. No. Oh! I need Jacken to make a strength check. Oh, or a Jack acrobatics. Or a dex. Anything not to be grappled. Um. Um. Oh, acrobatics, dex. Yep. Oh, yep. Boom. As the hand comes, you. you see the eyes. Wah. 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 Oh shit. Well, initiative. Again? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Again. This will probably be quicker. Oh, no, wait, perfect. please tell me they don't know all, please tell me they don't all know Fireball. <laughs> uh, they look similar, but they are not that. Oh and my god. This is <laughs> kind of what they did. Look, that's what the other one's supposed to look like. Okay, okay. I Fireball in this room would be stupid, because that's, that's, you know, that's mass murder. Well, I, don't they want mass death? <laughs> Merkel, the Lord of Bones, Fireball, in the Get Rid of Bones. <laughs> I don't think we'll need Fair music enough. for this one. Possible. See. Okay, well. Boys first, stands. I'm gonna, gonna learn my lesson. I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Um, can I make a shot with a crossbow at? The one nearest. Yeah. As you're going to move away and you watch as the hand comes out and wildly misses. And a 14 for 8 will hit. You know, watch it spin and right in this person is. They're hanging together because that was devastating. Did anything else for your turn? 
Uh, no. Jacket. Um, I want to swing at the one closest to me. Yeah. Um, to target. Bye bye. If we get through a whole round of initiative, I'm going to be impressed. Nat 20, you're going to bring in the sword and you after this guy. Nice. Gone. Didn't it, that's your turn? Oh, that ends my... Uh, I'm going to move... I should probably move down. I'll move down. Oh, that ends my turn. What um, over. Being very hurt, he steps over here. Uh... Does the one on the right have... Do either have cover? Um, nah. nah. He's going to shoot the one nearest... Um, yeah. Rupert. Yeah, yeah. With his crossbow. A nine for three will miss. And then he's going to step back. Okay. Uh, and then move over to Corby. Yeah, me again. Uh, repeat it, but with a long way instead. Yeah. So you'd have to move as never yeah. technically. When, uh, okay, so when I swap, it takes a while. Ah. If you just do it for me. Just fine. make the attack? Yeah, I take one step to the right and then shoot at the same one. Bring it back, bring it forward. That is an 11. Um, yeah, that's... That hits. And then move you back. Lovely. That's it. And then it is a necromate of Merkel. Oh, he's not happy with that one there. He walks in with his big skull flail. And just smashes towards Shark and completely misses. Rupert. Can we not deal with the dead for five minutes? As I pull up my crossbow and shoot at the, this one. Yep. Six Ooh. will miss. Uh, bloody hell. And I'm going to just uh, move back a bit more. <laughs> That's it. Seria. I'm impressed, oh. guys. Uh, I will uh, do a magic uh, missile on that one. Okay. Roll it. And did that work? Go for the eyes! So when you roll it, it's going to roll, because it doesn't roll to hit, it just attacks. So click the little image and it will do the rest for us. Uh... It's not working for some reason. Click the image of magic missile. And then it'll come up asking what level you want okay, to yeah. cast that. Okay, sorry. 15 total damage, so 5. You done 5 damage, so are you pumping all 3 missiles into this guy? Or are you splitting yeah. them? How are you doing it? Uh, just on this, this one. Yep. As you fire all 3 of them in, you're going to watch it. Boom, the first one takes him out. The other two just juggle him before he to the ground. Is there anything else your turn? Hmm. I'm gonna go back because I didn't like the fireball. I'm like, yeah, good luck. <laughs> one S, one S. <laughs> the That's my turn. Necromate of Merkel will take his claws that he holds in hand and as he does looks at you, Jack, and just and tries again once more for the big ass. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's gonna go with like that and you feel this necrotic damage sweep over. Um, yeah, it's disadvantage because that's actually a spell attack. The good news is, you negate a nat 20. 
bad news is you still take eight necrotic damage. And we move Good. into first one. Uh, I'm gonna uh, move just a little bit here so I can see better. Yep. And then I'll cast Eldritch Blast on the one that's left. Eight for eight, you kind of when it goes wide, washes up the wall. Did I answer your turn? Uh, no. Let's see if Jack can, can take it away. Yeah, I'm gonna. You know what's gonna happen. You're gonna miss? Gonna... Yeah, that's gonna happen. He's <laughs> gonna swing in, swing wild, and th this, this guy is like. Fucking wiry, man. What a what a. That ends. Uh, just shoot. 16 for 7, he's going to. It lands. Truth. Arcs over right into him. Did anything else your turn? Nope. Yeah. Rocking over to a fun out of Tom. Yeah. Uh, Copy's just going to shoot as well. <laughs> That's all I've got. He's going to draw it back and. But this one, Byers hits true and you're going to watch as the body is ejected forcefully into the wall. See, we needed no combat music. We no need no combat music as the three <laughs> necromites of Michael lie there dead. What was that, guys? Um. It doped. Can I examine these bodies for anything, like, odd about them, considering they just rose up from the grave? Yeah, yeah. Roll, uh, roll a medicine check. Okay. I use help action. Oh, never mind. Oh, I didn't... That's okay. Really... Um, <laughs> they were never actually dead to begin with. Hmm. The bodies are still oh. very warm. An elaborate ruse. What are they wearing? Yeah. Um, robes. Is that it? I, I, I mean, but yeah, clothes, roby clothes. Like any jewelry or anything? No, no satanic. Nope. Yeah, I get you. That. Got their flails and that's it. This is a weird place, see if they were not dead. This is really weird. Why would you lie on the floor like that? That's stupid. I don't know, clerics are always weird. They're um, all crazy bastards. <laughs> is there anything over here in this rubble? In the rubble is a sarcophagi that has been collapsed and crushed. There's... is this got a number to it? Surprisingly, yes. The sarcophagus is partially collapsed, and you can tell that it has been left here for quite some time. You do, however, see a small sack on the inside. Can I grab, can I grab the sack? Oh, I was. Okay. Rupert was asking first by my own measure as you yep. pick up the sack. You look in, you see three books. Are they labelled in any way? They're colour coded. So there's no like text up on them, like No text upon them. There is a black scaly reptile hide covered book. There is a burnt umber covered book. And a red leather bound book. I'll I'll do more research on these later, and he's gonna like stow it away in his bag. The pouch of books. Jacken. Yeah. Do any of those have scar on the forehead? Sorry? Do any of those have a scar on the forehead? Um I didn't check. We check for that now. Yeah, as so you look through the bodies, yeah. no scars. 
Mm. Yeah, those corners. Oops. Here, uh, nobleman. Uh, I have already forgotten his name. Uh, exits just through that corridor. Go straight, go left, go straight again, and then you'll probably pop out of the bathhouse, into the bathhouse. If you get into trouble, scream for help and pray we get there in time. Okay, and who are you again? It's uh, Rupert Matka, former member of the Watch. Okay. Well, roughly what time would it be, would I guess it to be? Early evening. Uh, as he goes, I go, <clears throat> are you able to stay in here, the upper city, or would you be kicked out? From the upper city, so I'll be fine. Yeah, uh, I'll be fine, yeah. Um, maybe get lifted for, you know, look himself up and down a bit. As you know, plausible excuse, right? Mm-hmm. Stay safe. And uh, again, call for help if you need it. Help! Help! Please! <laughs> and he left his hands, still bound. I thought we unbound him. Took his thing off, pretty sure he was still bound. Oh. Well, oh, sorry, I thought someone had already done that, and I would um, cut off the bindings. Yeah, I'll just... I see you again, I'll put in a good word, and he just... You see the, the little feet running, followed by the with the water as he just starts you know the splashing he's not trying to run through it he's sweating through it well you hear the and off a few moments later you hear a high shrill shriek and a smash dingy dies should we check on him or he gestures to the left Uh, I guess so would be nice to do that but at the same time, oh. get ready to attack? Where did he go? I, I'm going to ready my crossbow in case he's ran into trouble. And I'm just going to follow the sound real quick. Like that. See, look, there is no body. There is nothing. But you no do blood. hear a. No, no, no body. <clears throat> Perfect. You do hear a large bang from the top of the stairs. Oh, sorry, you're still going. Oh, no, I was just answering your question. Uh, you know what? Are you okay? We finish down here first. <laughs> is he? Is he okay? Uh, I, I'm gonna attempt to lie. <laughs> yeah. Y- yes. He is perfectly fine. You can insight it if Do you I want. Do I believe that? You can insight it if you want. Okay. In my medical opinion, he is perfectly fine. I think he just tripped or something. Oh my god. <laughs> he is fine. He just tripped or something. Okay. Uh, as a doctor, I believe you. Like, you're a doctor, right? So, uh, expensive doctor, if I understood well, so... I only charge up to most of silver, depending on how much you rack up. Okay, I could afford it, I think, for now. And besides, uh, I'm, I, I'll always expect some payment, but I'm not cruel. Okay, well, um, I, I may be a little cruel, but I'm not that cruel. I stabilized you, so maybe if one day I go down, you can stabilize me. I already gave you all your free checkups. Flash once more into the cold water to see the large tapestry. Um, I believe it was of someone being torn asunder, but I will double check that. Oh, it's right there. Uh, yeah, four faceless figures tearing asunder a fifth. Excuse this me, is... Jackie. Oh, sorry, go ahead. This is not good art. This is yeah. awful. Yes. Jack and uh, earlier me and uh, 
Sorry, one thing. Uh, Jack and you seem to be strong. Me and uh, Tussle had trouble getting this stone face off the wall. Could you help me with that? Yeah, of course. Why did the Necromite of Merkel just talk? <laughs> 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 Alright, we're gonna have to wait a bit. <laughs> Just see un momento from the chroma <laughs> of Merkel. I don't know what's possessing me. First of all, it's like a sassy bitch this, this session. And I'm leaning into uh, Rupert being um, not all there. Yeah. It's okay. They really oddly balance each other out, but, like, in a terrible way. They're so doomed. I'm feeling romantic. I'm oh, God. <laughs> right, did everybody put out the cassette forms? <laughs> <laughs> What's up, bro? I'm gonna do cassette form, bro. <laughs> the South Park reference for y'all. Yeah. As you look upon uh, the I just got large visage. What's the wait, plan? Wait, 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 hold on. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I'm just asking what you want to do. Oh, uh, I asked uh, Jack and Jack and to uh, help me remove it from the wall again, since me and Tarsal failed last time. Yeah, I'll help him. Yeah. Roll a strength oh, actually, check with advantage. I'm gonna help him since he seems... Can I help Jack in instead? Yep. Since he's probably the stronger one? <laughs> yeah, roll yeah, a strength yeah. check with advantage. Okay. Remember to tighten your core. I didn't roll advantage. Hover over that 9, click the plus. Oh, oh my god. It is no. hard and heavy. And powerful, and you only managed to get me it a little. Oh, a little shimmy. Little shimmy, shimmy, ya, yeah, shimmy, ya, yeah, shimmy, yay. Yeah. Wait, we shimmy did a little. That means there might be a gap between it and the wall, right? Yeah, you and Farcival found out that it was stuck to the wall using probably something like a, you know, a, some form of nail or such. I don't know, like big ass nail. Can I use a since it's um now like slightly propped from the wall? Can I use a crowbar to help pry it out? Crowbar gives advantage with strength checks, so you can try. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm just gonna make that crowbar is a bone. <laughs> <What'd you say>? <laughs> <laughs> that crowbar is a bone. It's a custom crowbar. <laughs> You try. Oh, Push this in and pull and pull and pull. You're gonna fire it and catch yourself for a moment before you fall into the water, and it just kind of rocks just a little bit. Is there anything like behind it that it's hiding, or is it just the thing itself? It's the thing itself, and there is something that it's perched upon into the wall. <laughs> It's just, um, you know, fucking massive okay. and made of stone. Oh, stone, you say? Yes. Hold on, do I have something to... I have a hammer! Would that help at all? What are you trying to take it off the wall? Hammer would be for destroying it. Well, I, oh, I thought, I thought whenever I was connecting it to the wall, I could hammer it. You got a crowbar in there, but your hand, that is not getting in there like that. Alright, well, I'm just gonna, like, pluck my crowbar out, if I can, and then just say, Well, I tried. <sighs> I am not the spry man I used to be. Perhaps is it a sign that we do not want to see what is on the other side? My hips. I think so. You enter into this room and you see in the middle, harshed, is a bloated body, skin peeling away, bulging eyes, clothes strewn with algae, perhaps? It's green. It's scummy. 
Can I cut its head off? There's a dead body of a human. Can I cut its head off? I'm gonna back away in case it explodes. Okay, don't know why you want to do that, but sure. You cut the head off the dead body. Does it have a scar? Okay. Thank you for letting me do that. Is there a scar on that head? I was just making sure it was dead, Ed. Just so oh. it thinks I'm crazy. That's that's the only reason I did that, by the way. Just so I thought you were gonna keep it. No, no, I just wanted to make no, sure it's, it didn't it's, come it's back. You're, you're, you're fucking crazy. First of all, you <laughs> notice here the water seems to s rush downwards ever so slightly. And it seems to pass through the wall to the north. There's this one. Can I feel for, like, weak spots in the wall? Yeah. yeah roll perception check. Or investigation, whichever you can justify best. It doesn't feel like any weak spots in the wall. This is a solid wall. The water seems to go under it. The water goes under it? War goes under it. Wait a minute. I, I, I lean over to Tur Turtle. You can shoot weird lasers out of your fingers, right? Uh, it depends. That, that little blast thing you did to one of the, uh, the other creatures in Prior. Can you do that? But uh, to a wall. Uh, doesn't Eldritch Blast have to be like within a creature? Has to be like towards the creature, or can it just be in general? It actively states a creature within range. You know that it actively states. I, you all. I I play Warlock, and I've only just noticed it says creature. See the amount of shit I've Eldritch Blast, and the DM's been like, sure, it's unreal. I could firebolt it, maybe. It's a it's a blast of force. I figured you could just shoot at things, but I guess. But here's firebolt specifically states creature or object. Which blast specifies creature. That that seems weird. What if it's a mimic? Yeah, that sounds like the ultimate mimic detector. You walk into a room, I eldritch blast everything. So you eldritch blast the chair, found a mimic. <laughs> All right. Well, can't do that then. Hey, uh, elf lady, what's your name again? Uh, Zidia. Do you want me to fireball the wall? I say we firebolt it at the same time. Might uh, pr prove better oh. results. As he slowly pulls out what what looks like to be a normal jar at first, but then you. Look at like intricate, like like vein-like structures, some runes on it, and he points it at the wall. I call this the fire jar. Uh, uh, I need a beer. What what season are you? You're not uh, What win season? Winter. Winter. Cool. Just so I know. So I guess we're both fire bolting the wall. Yeah. Rocket. Let's use both. The fire bolts off the wall. Uh, let me do that. Yours. As you just see hits. the jar explode slightly. As they oh. both hit and wash over the wall. Watch as the water boils in the wall. You hear a from it. As something has moved with the force of these fire bolts. Wait. Did you say move? Something has moved. Like a creature or an object being shot? Something has moved. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, okay. I brought me too much again! Okay. <laughs> As you see, like, a slightly manic look take over Rupert's eyes. Yes, yes. Field testing! Use fire once more at the wall. Just once more, hear that. 
movement. Is the wall like any more damaged than it was before? No. It's, that is a wet wall to be fair. You're drying out the patch, it's for certain. Mm -hmm. Horrible dry cleaners though. <laughs> hey Jack, if I gave you my hammer, could you try smashing into the wall? Oh, he's muted. Hmm. All right, wait, wait, where's the wait? Where's Corb? Where's Corby and the in Ore? No, in the room with you. Having their own discussion elsewhere. Mm hmm. Ore, Corby, Ore, or I mean Arby, Zoe, Corby. God, why does that man have so many dumb names? What's this? Right. The giant tapestry, seven foot tall, five foot wide, of four laughing, grinning people tearing asunder a fifth. Does it look good? I need you to define good real fucking quick for me. Like, does it look like cool? It's a tapestry oh, of four people violently tearing asunder a fifth. Can I take it? Or like, can I check behind it? I mean, yeah, sure. Hey, while you're checking behind it, you should do a roll a constitution comment. saving throw. <laughs> oh. <laughs> while you're taking it and getting con saved, uh, you just hear Rupert say, "Man, their method of murder is really shot." Oh, yeah. I know that. I know that's a fail. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I just need, don't know what it does. Corby, what are you doing all the way here? Is this me checking behind it or trying to take it? This is you checking behind it. To check behind it, you need to touch it. Keeping yeah. guard. You tear. You feel like you feel this odd lame. You take five points of poison damage. Oh. You see this Are you... thick yellow patch behind it. Yellow what? Patch. Patch. Hmm. I like. A part? What do you mean patch? Again? Like there's a yellow patch of something behind it, and in touching that, you have taken poison damage. Um, can I like move the cloth out of the way with my sword? Yeah. Or did I already? You've, you've, touched, you've, you've touched it. There's nothing Wait. behind it. Oh, okay, gotcha. Want me to burn it? <laughs> yeah. Burn it with fire? As he's slowly pulling out his jar of fire. Wait. Can I, like... Mm, so is it the cloth is... The patch is poisonous? Yeah, there's a... Like, it's like 80% of the back of this tapestry. Is there any way I could like safely take the top of the Fire? No, not he's really. holding up the jar. No, okay. No problem. Well, I'm just gonna leave that top of the by itself. As, as soon as you get out the way, I I, sh I would like to shoot the top of the Of course, that's why I'm Fire! And Baron, you watch as the tapestry ignites instantly. Whatever's on the back of it, uh, however it's made of, is very flammable. I should probably start uh, locating these things. That trap's good. That trap's good. His Rupert begins satisfactorily walking away. Uh... I am having a good day. How about you? Uh, between the almost dying and not almost dying, I think I am fine. Actually, with this wall over here, now that I've blasted it a few times, can I put my ear to this wall? Yeah. I know something has moved before. Do I hear anything on the other side? War. Just water? 
just warm. Hmm. And what if I take a small whack with my hammer? Mm, hollow. Hollow. No, but, like, hollow in the sense it's, like, completely hollow, or, like, something's in that room? As in the sound travels and echoes in a way that makes you believe there's nothing behind that wall. Hollow. Fair enough. Okay. Is there... Can it's I feel there's hollow on the other side. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Hmm? No. Is there anything going on over here in this little pocket? Like, can I feel if there's anything wrong? Like, is, is there anything that's different? Nothing. It is very much just the odd nook and cranny in this sewer system. Alright. Want me to shoot it? I don't think there's a need for that. But I will let you know if there's anything you need to shoot. Lovely, yeah. Uh, as it turns out, it's hollow behind that wall, but I'm not sure what's on the other side. If anything. There's definitely water. It doesn't take an, it. it doesn't take an intelligent man or a well educated person realize this. However, it does take a bunch of idiots about an hour to realize there's nothing remarkable about this area. Well, to be fair, we're in a cultist temple. Well, I guess we found what we need and we can report back. Hey. Well, I mean... Where's the man with a scar on his head? What about, what about the wounds we haven't gone down? we I'm pretty sure we've gone through every room. The exploding room had two at the exits. What did they... What was we down there? The, the there was a few collapsed panels that we didn't get to go through. There was a collapse Wait. at the back of the room here. What the pink. That, that's the other room with the pillars. I don't think we... There was a room up in the upper right. I don't think we ever went down there. Well, let's go. Actually, I shouldn't lead to the charge. You, my brave man, Jacken, lead the way. <laughs> well, I'm on. I'm pretty damaged here, maybe. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he gives you a pat on the shoulder. Just proves how tough you are. Where is the area you were talking about? This way? Yes, that way. Is it not collapsed down here? Did it collapse already? Go out of the room, take a snap. Make a survival check. Or a perception check. Oh, Either or. No, you ain't in the room yet, just jacking. Survival. Oh. Survival or. Mm -hmm. Survival or perception. Your perception, no, uh, not perception. The book says not survival, maybe. but survival's a fucking dumb one in my book. But yeah. Um, it's starting to smell not bueno in here again. So is it another gas leak again? It smells, as the Spanish would say, no me gusta. And as I walk in? Survival or perception? Perception or survival? Smells fine, mate. Fuck. Fuck is Jack in talking about? He's talking shit. Smells great in here. Yeah, we should probably not use any fire magic in here. Why? It smells as sterile as a. Well, no. Around no. The sewer. Trust me, it does, sterile. Not, it does not smell good in here. Do not use fire. Wait, so I can't use the fire job? No. He gives you, like, puppy dog eyes? Really? <laughs> no fire. Really? No oh. fire. Let's go. No breaking fire. my heart. Yes. Does the smell get stronger as we go forward, or does it just stay the same? It lingers and stays the same. Do you I miss. Through? Yeah. Huh? You said something. Oh, I asked what I missed. Oh, not much. Um, they just walked back at the fire room uh, after realizing that um, after Corby had prompted them that they may have missed a few places. Hmm. I didn't realize you'd gone. Oh, there we go. A couple of minutes. Sorry, a lot happened. I moved you anyway, so don't worry. Missed relatively nothing. 
Okay. Is use uh, you miss Rupert being sad he can't use fire. What's new? First of all, hmm. if I put out the torch, are you able to guide me through that room? No, no, no. Uh, I should do reasonably. Try and... Uh. You snuff out the torch. Stop. Because the party is split too far. Oh. It's, just, it's through this corridor, right? Is referring to? To the right. No. The exploding oh, the right. door. Oh, okay. Yeah, and or, or we'll follow the two as well. Watching mm -hmm. up the rear. She's All I know is that you enter on in. <laughs> so you're sure I can't use a little fire? Uh, if he says no, I say no to. Uh, I love fire too, but not to explode ourselves, you know? I work so hard on this job. Do you know how hard it is to make alchemy fire not go everywhere? I, I know, yes. Yeah. Walk through the area, the water. I starts getting lower and lower and lower. Just come. Say, what is Tarsible? The water is Tarsible. You see the water ripple behind you. So you see, holding onto a wall and holding close to Farsible is a Corby and a Ora Ora. Wait, I hear footsteps behind us. Maybe it's someone. Oh, wait, it's just the others. Mm -hmm. Should we keep going forward? Yeah, we should probably wait for the others. Yeah, I thought they were here. Possible. Uh, Corby and or or, or, or. I keep forgetting. I don't actually know his name. Are, is Corby and. Oh, they are. Oh, there's both of them together. I feel maybe Tom's doing something for a moment. No, I can't see anything at all. So, because <laughs> Corby's blind. Oh, in the dead dark. ass, fuck. And Aura Aura is on one hit point with no spells. So he's <laughs> not Aura doing Aura much. Aura didn't use any short hit <laughs> He didn't have any. <laughs> he used Wait, them all what? in the last short rest. <laughs> oh. But at this point here, well, I would say the smell of gas has long gone. Wait, does this mean I can use fire? Mm, yeah, I don't <laughs> smell the like gas anymore. I think you could use fire. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm just really excited. You look. A door. And Wait, that might explode on us. As he backs away. Wooden, and wooden door, he says. With his best Jeremy Clarkson impersonation. Impersonation. A rather standard wooden door, unswollen, but hot. Hot? Just. Yep, very tight, you know. It's a very good fit. What I like, can I like wrap cloth around my, my hand or something to try to open the door? Slowly. Hot. Not hot. Tot. Tight. Oh. Oh. So it's like I have to like force yeah. it open, kind of. Yeah, it requires, like, you know, it's not swollen, but it is, you know, there's no shear lines. You before gonna... you kick it. Yeah. Before you kick it, Kobe just hisses, like, hisses out your tongue attention and just taps his ear and points at the door. Um, is there any markings kind of? Is there any mark anything this thing would feel about the door? No, just normal wooden door, nothing special. Normal wooden door, normal round handle, no knockers or such. Can I boot it down the middle of my foot? Yeah, roll strength check. You lean back, you give it all and just boom, down the door. 
into the darkness. You hear the smack of the door hitting rubble. You all hear the cracking of rubble rocks falling. Oh, that looks fine. Not that you can see much. Did it want to just set up a door? Police open up. You enter into a room. Debris fills the room. You can see just in the corner, ever so slightly, there was once at some point a sarcophagus here before the room caved in. Um, there's no way to get inside the sarcophagus that I clock inside now. I can put you inside the sarcophagus. Mm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You can tell that there was a sarcophagus here as there's only a little bit of it remaining, but this wall and ceiling have came in considerably. Yeah. Um, maybe through age, maybe through explosions. Is there anything special about this room now? Nope. No. It's not even this room's quinceanera yet. It's terrible. Look, another long corridor. Like, I can only say corridors for so long before I get flashed. Can we hear anything from the far end of the corridor? Nothing out of the ordinary, no. Just the no wind, crack. no water dripping. The usual water drippings and scurrying okay. of insects, but not much more than your usual. It's like another door standard. Kind of like the one that Jacques and booked in. Can I hear anything behind it? Mm, nothing. Another emptiness to your ears. Okay, one last thing. Can I check for any traps on this door? Well, a perception or investigation? I'm... Okay. It's a fine door. If it were trapped, it would be very obvious. As they would probably have to mar the door. This door is too good to be trapped. Right? As he swings open the door. You open the door. You find in here. An open sarcophagus standing in the back. Of this dusty crypt. The heavy stone led to its side. Between the sarcophagus and the south wall. The north facing side of the sarcophagus. Bears faded frescoes of... A spear-wielding warrior charging across the golden plains on horseback. Is there any? Is the sarcophagus currently empty, or is there any like objects or corpse in it? There's bones. Hmm. Whatever was in here seems to be long plundered, but you can make an investigation check on the bones if you wish. Yeah, sure. Why not? I roll the roll. Mm, yes, these bones are made out of bone. Ah, calcium. <laughs> oh, I think he had a bit of a calcium deficiency, though. Can oh. I investigate bones? Dog pale and roll. No. Oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, that's it. Just some bones. I think he had a calcium deficiency. By the way, have any of you eaten bananas as of late? It's really good. A door to the <laughs> south and a door to the east. Roll on a shift. Oh. Shit. Of yeah. course, the one door we didn't check. <laughs> you crack open the door and you see staring you in the face. The undead. You then hear the The zombie looks like um, its every movement is pain. Yeah. So before before combat starts, I did type something in the check saying that I wanted to we've been walking through water. Were there any tracks on the floor or anything like that? Corby was looking for that. Yeah, of course. Uh, I'll give you that passively. Not so much. Okay. Not so much steps, 
but there are scraping drag marks that seem to get thicker towards this door. As if people are being taken to this door, not of their free will. Alright, yeah, okay. And I think this is where we'll put on some good old fashioned combat music. Oh, what we got? Put on something to Remember, press. always check the door! Oh, here we go. Uh, ooh, try this one. I don't know them all by name. But I use them all the time. Let's see who we have. We got Jackin, Barcival, or Zayd. You know, six in, in the words of every Scottish go to a gig. Here we fucking go. Rip up. I think this is the best I've rolled all session for an uh, initiative. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna get up like duck as I shoot at the zombie right up. here. Holy shit! Natural 23. Oh, baby! She's just gonna fire off. Which one you hitting? Because there's like a few in here. Oh, I'm just gonna shoot the right one right in front of me. Ah. Like, duck, little boy! She kind of walks in the. And uh, it just looks like a very depressed 2000s teenager who's telling you you're not her dad. Hey, zombies, your insides are supposed to be insides, not outsides. As I end my turn. Oh. Corby. I read an attack to shoot at any party, person not from my party who comes out the door. Okay. Hold an attack for something coming out. Yeah. Got it. Did you? Okay, I'm gonna move a little bit so I can see something. And then I'm gonna throw the dead on the first zombie there. Ah. A three necrotic, it just saves. Ah, oh, well, and then I'm gonna move back. Oops. On you go, yeah, I'm gonna quickly mess with your toll the dead spell. Trust me, I know what I'm doing, I'm a cleric. <laughs> So I did 520. I'm not a good one, but I am one. Okay, okay, cool, cool, nice. Done, dusted, out of this world. End of turn? Oh, uh, yes. Of course it's the one at the fucking back. Of course it is. <laughs> so, shuffle on up, making the groaning noises. I love how it's three, 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 and three. It's fucking split initiative. <laughs> this one, in looking at Farcival, will immediately just turn and just swipe its hand, almost backhanding across 16. AC is 13, it hits. That door's gonna get really annoying for all of us really fucking quickly, I'm gonna point that out. <laughs> As it smashes you and then Oh, well, this, this is where things get complex. The zombie here, gonna take a look at you. Is it smart enough? Oh, it's not smart enough to do that, yeah. I would argue it is not smart enough to try that. Well, the brute force was always the one that worked for me best as a child. This one takes its left hand and just tries to grab your eyes with its missing fingernails. That's a nat 20. Mm. It just grows for the eyes. It's only 5 damage. You are standing there. Yukuth. Or Uh, Ready in action, shoot crossbow bolt at anything that comes out the door that's not a party member. Ah. First of all. Cool. First, we're going to get out of the way. I feel like that would be a good plan of action. 12 for 2 misses. Oh, what? I hit 2. 22 for 5 hits, however. Opportunity of attack. And then? Uh, I... Just... 
I'll cast. I'll just bust just the one that's like right in front of me. Yeah. The door. Seventeen for one. Hits as you line it up and you watch it come. Hmm. Yeah, rips just one rib straight out, just out of the back. Did it announce your turn? Uh, no. Jacken. Yeah, so I'm gonna run up to the doorway. How many feet is that? Yep. Can I like throw a jump up? Uh, yeah, from that range, yeah. You're, there's five feet with Vex, so yeah. Ah oh, shit, there's an issue. One sec. Uh, can I just delete the door? I'm just going to delete this door right now, yeah. A 21 for 8 as you throw it and the poor zombie gets a javelin stuck in. Passes right through. There ain't much left here and it's probably been decaying for a while. Did it else your turn? So I'm going to move here. Yep. Not ends my turn. Mr. Zambles will kind of just start leaning and waving in the funniest ways possible. Give it the good old excuse moi And let me play the game of Vision. Uh, Corby, you can see it. I would class that as three quarters cover, but you are holding an attack if you wish to use it. Yep. Yep. So plus five to its AC. Uh, that there is a miss. You, is it? No, yeah. AC goes up to. Uh, yeah. You gotta fire that up. You can shing! As it just misses. It's a very tight shot. Oh, yeah, it's still the zombie's turn. Uh, the zombie's gonna go ahead and. Hmm. Well, first of all, even or odd? Even? Pretty fucking stupid this one, it's just gonna smash with Jack and 13 for 5. Misses. One at the back is just gonna move on up. And this one at the back is. I can't really do much. Rupert! Uh. Uh, I'm just gonna. If I move here, I'll still be able to hit him, right? Depends what you're looking to do. This guy. I said what, not who. <laughs> oh, I meant uh, if I shoot it. Wes. Light crossbow. Yep. Sorry, I, sorry. Uh, so I can still hit it from here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, just making sure. Position the arm in some weird ways and then smack. I think I'm, I think I'm just shoving the crossbow between uh, Jack and, and uh, Parsifal and just like, ha! Fire, pull away, run away. But, uh, Excuse 10, me, pardon me. 15, 20, 25, 30. Uh, be prepared, there's a whole of undead coming our way. Corby. And that's all. Uh, sure, Corby will move up. To... Six. He's just going to shoot at the one in front of Arsenal. Yep. 21 for 7 hits. So you're going to bring it up, fire it in, and you watch it. Hits and wanes a little. Did it else your turn? No, that's it. Zidia. Yes, yes. Can I uh, shoot it from here with a fireball? Yes, you can. A 11 hits because these guys have no armor class. You're gonna nice, and then because I'm a weak little uh, girl, I move back. <laughs> uh, okay, so I go there, and that's my turn. Could also phrase that as strong, independent woman. Yeah, strong, independent, but but frail woman. Probable. Well, that's uh, that's a no bueno. Or, um, 
or, or, or a stumbles up. Five. And then he raises up his mace. And he goes, I, I haven't let you come here. And he turns undead. Oh. Oh. Fuck me sideways. Uh, what's his spell save? Just like it says 12 here. Just Wisdom saving throw. Any that can hear me within 30 feet. One, two, three, four. I get six wisdom saving throws, people. Um, what's my wisdom at curiosity? Nah, ha, ha, ha. All right. Oh, they get flats. Okay, so I've got to roll 60, 20 and just roll it. They're in a nice S shape, so I'll roll it like that. Um, slash R 68. No, 60, 20, 68. That's damage. Let's see. Um, so. Reveal everyone, so there's your rolls, they get flat wisdom save. So, technically frightened. No, sorry, not frightened, because the save is 12. This one here is frightened. Uh, this one here is frightened. This one, we're using frightened even though turned, because what's the difference really? And then the back one is also technically frightened. There we go. Then, all right, all right, guys. <laughs> Leave those that run away to last. Don't attack them. That's a 10. Okay. First of all. Going to move back forwards more. And I am going to use uh, False Life. Okay, really quickly as you move back. Uh, 16 for 2. You're going to learn about really Opportunity of Attack pretty soon. False life, eight temporary hit points. I'll smash that onto your sheet right now. Boom, bang. There you go. Did anyone else your turn? Um. No. Okay. I'm just reading the Channel Divinity, because Channel Divinity is a weird one. Jack! I'm going to hit the closest one to me with my sword. Yep. As you bring it in, bring it down, whipping round, swing, swang, swish, swash, you were taking a bath. Uh, yeah. Mm. Done it, else. I'm going to move back. 15 feet here. Okay. That's my turn. Well, which zombie is it now? Oh, all the humanity. So if they turn, they can't move towards me, they have to move away. He's the only one that wasn't turned. <laughs> okay. Then the ones that are Rupert. Alrighty. Alright, what is the situation? That's the blood. I hope it's not yours. Uh, I guess if I see any of the zombies, I'll ready a crossbow shot. Alright. That is all for my turn. Corby. I'm gonna highlight this one here with a death end, uh, because he passed. Just so that differentiates them. Corby would know about undead, but I don't know he knows fully about turn undead. He will hold an action and any zombies that step into the corridor, he will shoot when they're just exiting the door. Okay. Makes things real fun. <laughs> yep. Is there anything else? No, that's it. Did yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move up a little bit, like um, here. Yeah. And if I see one coming out of the door, I will fireboard it. And that's my turn. We're going to be here a while. Did anyone pack a pack lunch? <laughs> he can't willingly move closer, nor can he get back, so he's stuck. He can, why can't he go back? Completely blocked. He's moved, he has to technically pass through a wall. Mm -hmm. So this one here needs to move, so then he can pass through, else he's passing through a wall. Or... I 
why can't you go through the one below? Because I haven't done that so far and now's not uh, the time. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> I'm consistently inconsistent. Sure. Or uh, Let me just check. I don't have to stay in line of sight, do I? No, I think it's just the first one that hears you and they hear or see you. Um, you do it. I'll stay. You... I'll stay where I am and take dodge action. Okay. Um. this last Joe Mama um, it lasts a minute until oh. it takes any damage yeah, so these are for the heat of this stuff first of all um, shit what even is there to do uh, there's one that is not turned uh, there's the one behind it right yeah would I be able to peek a shot like Past it. Can you see it? Yeah. Uh, you can see it. I'd say you get three quarters cover there, AC plus five, but you can make that attempt. You can also potentially move to see if that removes the amount of cover. Yeah, if I move here, will it be better? Where's shot? Okay. Then. Um... 9 for 7 will miss. He's gonna uh, and try, but it's a toughie. Did I know your turn? Uh, no. Yeah, I can. Okay, so I'm gonna use 20 feet of movement to get here. Oh, okay. And can I shoot the one that's not. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the one behind it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You're well aware turn undead being. Somewhat similar to Cleric, as you also, I believe you can do it. But yeah. Later on. Yeah. So don't worry for a javelin out of ten. Yep. Twenty-two for seven as you bring it back, bring it forward, and slam through. You did it, else your turn. Uh, I'm gonna move here. At the end of my turn. Okay. And as you do that, you watch as. The undead here, because I've read things wrong, watches it immediately arises once more back to its feet. Was it a crit that hit him? It was, yeah. Then he doesn't get that. Does he not? Oh fuck, have I nope. misread that again? If it's normal zombie. Or from a critical hit, you're right, boom bang. Never mind, he's gone, deleted good. Thanks for keeping me right, Tom. Uh, this one here. We'll run it how you are. Oh, shoot. Yep. Um. 50 for three hits. Uh, I want to use my reaction to hit it. It hasn't made a hit for anyone yet, mate. Oh, 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 that was a person. Sorry, my bad. Yeah. Oh, my bad. You watch it comes through. Corby immediately fires that one off as it does. The zombie swings wildly at yourself, Jack. And as it does, that's a five. That's Can I use my my held action since I said when someone comes by the door? Yeah. And I'm, okay. Oh yeah, and I would trigger mine too. Yep, rock them. A 11 for one will hit. A 5 Ooh. will miss. Rupert, it's still your turn, however. Alright, I would like to take an attack again. 22 for 4 will hit. Get shot. Did I announce your turn? Yep. So what are you doing then? Ain't no way in hell. I said, yeah, that's the end of my turn. I said, are you doing anything else with your turn? There's a difference. It's a different question. Corby. Uh, Corby drops his bow and draws his weapons out and uh, attacks once. And then... Boom, back, yep. And then bonus action... Dagger attacks. I take two off that damage if it hits. Five. I had less than... I had less than that left anyway, so don't worry. You want to make a con save then? Yep. Uh, dun 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 dun. Uh, fa ha 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 Done. Done. That's your turn. Yeah. Um. 
Yes. Celia. Uh, can I ask the others, should we attack them or not? What are we doing? Um, and maybe hold an action again if someone, well, a zombie comes by the door. Aura, okay. Aura will say, if you attack one, we all attack that one. And that's it, all he'll say. Okay, well, I'm going to attack the one that's, that's there then. All right. Um, half cover, so AC is up by two. Gives us a AC lower than 21. <laughs> did you... <laughs> what did you do? It drops down a bit. And it and then, starts to um, char. Doesn't smell pretty. And, and I'm gonna go back uh, there. So these zombies can't willingly step closer towards Aura Ori. And they also technically can't move further back. <laughs> so, we essentially have to skip their turns. Four. Or, or just take the dodge action still. Okay. First of all. Um. Go here. How. You know what? I. Will cast. Hold on. I'll cast. I'll just rest like the farthest left one. Yeah. A ten on the one here. Yeah. Hits, and then it's no longer under that effect, correct? Yep. Yep. I barely use my channel divinities, as you know, so. So he's no longer scared of you. Did I announce your turn? Uh, I'm gonna move back. Ooh. Run through Jacken. Uh, I'm gonna step out. Oh, and I'm gonna target the one she targeted. Uh -huh. For Javelin. For Javelin. She got it. Ah. Why does he keep putting me back? An 8 for 4. You will not believe it. An 8 hits. You're gonna. Yeah. That's my turn. Smash. This one's fucked. Rupert. Yup. Let's see here. 25. 30. Oh, get, damn it. The only one I can actually target is, is one that is, is uh, still turning. Alright. I guess. Uh, I can't do anything. That's my turn. Alright. Copy. Hmm. Hmm. What would you do? Uh, it... I think he'll drop his weapons and pick up his bow again. Yeah. Uh, are you playing that's my action or not? Free. And he'll shoot at the injured one. Three. Did I ask your turn? No, that's it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. I'll ask it one, to, one, foot, one to go to the side, that's all. Just so there's some space. That's it. Celia. Okay, I'm gonna move up a bit. I see nothing. Can I move through my partners or not? Yeah, sure. It's in this particular okay. instance. It's tight, but yeah. Just got double movement. Okay, and I'm gonna target the first one that I see. They're uh, all lined up I've... pretty, so... Yeah, but I didn't see which one is turned or not, so I'm gonna be like, I, I take a chance, right? Okay, yep. we have to kill them all anyway. Barbolt, 24-8, as you hit and swash and swash. Watch as it starts to fall before, once again, another cinder is created. And I take five more feet, and then I think I have... Five left to go there and leave the way for the others. Four. Uh, he just stays where he is, taking a dodge action, keeping his holy mace up. Possible. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna back a bit of you. I'm just gonna keep. Actually, yeah, I can still hit anything with that. 
I'll just keep making my really petty Eldritch Blast shots from the, from the doorway onto the middle one. It's waiting for five as you the wub 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 bang and it ripples no longer scared. Did I announce your turn? Go to the corner here. All right, Jackie. Uh, how many rounds is the turn? Uh, turn is for a minute, which is 10 rounds. Um, do not think we'll get to that 10th round for it to wear off. I can't see anything. Oh. I'm going to start here and throw a javelin at the end. Here. Oh, never mind. I can't even do that. I'm going to throw a javelin from here. Yep. Yeah. 22 for 8 as you wang. Get a pin it in there a bit. Do you know what you're from? Yeah, most of them. How much can I move that? Can I move? Can I do that? Uh, let me check your numbers. No, no, I can't. I can't. I can only. Yeah, if you use 22, you can put it there and that's it, yeah. That's it. Ripper. The nice blue line. <laughs> Don't know what the plan is, we can't hear you. Sorry, I realized I was muted. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, I just asked, could I hit it from here? Um, with a crossbow. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's uh, got any particular cover by that, so yeah. Just making sure. I would like to take my shot. Ten for four hits. Lovely, and that is it for my turn. Corby, we're now playing speed D&D. &D. Yeah. Cor Corby moves up to just behind Jacken, looks really long at the door, glances at Jacken, and thinks about shutting the door. <laughs> I like it. But, but <laughs> he doesn't like undead, so he raises and shoots at the injured one. <laughs> 16 for 6 will hit as he fires in and as he does the zombie starts to drop up, drop down. That's it. Before it stands back up. Okay. Got her. Go ahead and give it the one and one. Zidia, it's the second save it's ever made. Okay, I go there and I try to get the first one I see. Yep. Yeah. If I board again. 11 plus 3 hits. Just out of curiosity, how many times can I do that? That looks like. Oh, dear goodness, you fire. As you do it, hits, washes over. What? And that kills. <laughs> fire <laughs> damage, it just seems to start. Lighting like a candle. The room smells horrible. Or Nice. Smell awful, but dead. Uh, same thing. Dodge action. Keeping the mace up. First of all. Oh. Okay. And... Close the door. <laughs> <laughs> the intrusive thoughts of your patron. <laughs> so, the voice from the distant, like rushing water from the from the other hallways. Um, I'm just gonna Be continue funny. doing what I was doing. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> you snap and fire. Patron not happy with that one. Nerf. She's like, no. Close the door. Then it now's your turn. No. <laughs> Jackin. Stand in the room, the Eldritch Blast, the arrows, everything going off. The zombie standing there in the corner. You look behind yeah, you just to make sure the door's still open, because you never know. Oh my god. You take your last javelin and throw it. Everyone watches as you think you're cool. You throw it. 
like reckless abandon shad thundercock that you are and it just starts pinging across the room and just lands at the zombie's feet and it kind of looks at you like that don't impress me did it else your turn yeah that ends my turn yeah it no longer has the condition because it took one damage correct yep the zombie swaggers on up to you absolute chad energy <laughs> it does look she dead in the I eye like a babe. <laughs> and just smacks towards you it also misses but only just you're gonna feel the finger graze your nose if it looks he washes his brow burrows before one of its eyebrows fall off rupert uh Hey, Jackson, do you think you can handle this under? <laughs> As I'm just eyeing the door. <laughs> Zooms up to a sun painting. Close the door. No mm. Monty Python at this point. Rufus just... Mm. <sighs> Fine, duck. Quack. As you say duck and... These are some nice cobbled stones that you're wrecking here, guys. Wait, right? I like to think oh wait, no, fucking eight hits. Sorry, an eight hits. Oh. <laughs> it's just such a low number, but yeah, the AC is eight. Is it <laughs> miraculously <laughs> turns round and pings into it? Did anyone else return there, my guy? Nope, that's all. Corby, are you doing the country roads? Uh, yeah, same again. Take us home. Nine for nope. seven? No, they get an AC of eight. Yeah, I don't think it'll kill it though. Won't kill it, but it'll do damage. Uh, that's what it. Zinnia. Okay, I can see it from there, so fireboard again. 22 for oh, gosh. one. <laughs> I'm loving the ones. <laughs> I mean, I tried. <laughs> Just a and little bit later. Five. I got there to change a little bit. I don't like the other door, and that's my turn. Four. Uh, just is same thing. It's all he can do. Because the player's not here. Dodge action. Ah, I thought you meant the channel of anything, thing, and I'm like, that's done now. Yeah, dodge action. First of all. Um. Gonna do me one damage again? Is that gonna hit me one damage? <laughs> gonna think of the bee's knees. I debated being funny about this, but I'll... <laughs> I'm here for funny. You're here for funny? Okay. Well... <laughs> mm. Do I want to be mean? Yes. Do you want to okay. close the door? Close the door. You hear, you hear Rupert in your mind. Evil, 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 evil. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear the boom. Because I am assuming you're using that to close the door. Daphne, you turn round to see a closed door. <laughs> <laughs> you did anything else with your turn. Parsable. Jackin. Yeah, that's gonna hit us, I'm sorry. Fuck it up, Kenneth. The yes. door has been closed behind you. <laughs> A six oh. for ten will miss. Oh, okay. Shit. Then it knows your turn? That ends right room. The zombie with its eyebrow falling off you know, moves a little back from your turn as it does will immediately lean forward as it does brings its head directly in and just kind of stumbles a little Rupert well it seems the divine or unholy want the door shut who am I to argue <laughs> with their way out so, any of y'all know how to play bone dice? 
Yeah, I would like to get my turn. Corby! Corby shakes his head. Moves up. Considers taking out his thieves tools and locking the door, but he decides to open it instead. And then shoot at the zombie. In 12 for 8, he's gonna fire that one off the zombie. Hits. As it does. Wings, man. Stares directly eyes. Is there anyone else? That's my turn. Celia. Yeah, so, I'm gonna move there. Oh, the zombie stood up. What's up with that? Uh, fireboard. <laughs> 18 for 3 is you fire that one off and as you do you watch as the zombie goes up in flames and stands there burning shit <laughs> and I go there and that's my turn <laughs> dodge no you can take out this crossbow oh. and fire oh something new yeah yeah I wasn't prepared for this I know <laughs> neither was he he hits the door <laughs> <laughs> the forces that be really don't like this door. No. The crossbow shuts the door. Of course it is. <laughs> I'm gonna be this, normal this time. This is the one time where one damage is that you you don't want one. Um. <laughs> um. You okay, want like well, five. Five damage. Or fifty. Uh, uh, then I'm. What a lot of damage. Pick the throw. Just roll yep. that 20. 20. Oh, yeah. Or if you somehow know radiant damage. I don't. Uh... Ah. Then we could be in trouble. Or you could burn the dissonant whispers. Which it saves on, by the way, the fuck. Um, what? Creature doesn't move into obvious danger. It takes half damage, don't it? Yeah, I feel save and we got two changing in here. I feel save, it takes 3d6 90 damage and use reaction to move far away from speed. Um That does nothing to my knowledge there. Yeah. That's a leveled spell, by the way, people. Yeah. Got anything else with your target? Ah, uh, I'm just gonna move back here, man. <laughs> the target this takes half as much damage oh. on a successful save and doesn't have oh, to move fuck. away. Yeah, you're right there. It's usually at the end, so 11 half, half of 11 being 5. I need a 10. I've got an 11. <laughs> God damn it. Hello. Fucking zombie! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the zombie! Just let me go back to hell. Put me out my misery. <laughs> Fucking no <laughs> slot, man! I only have two. This is zombie. This Power word bobbing. Power word kill yourself on the zombie. An eleven for five will hit. Please tell me it's dead. No. <laughs> no. Five plus the damage is the DC. <sighs> you swing and are you doing anything else for your turn, mate? No, also. Fuck the zombie in. You as it leans back once more with all its bobbing and weaving. It's been gaining momentum and momentum. And it just comes in, fires its head directly at you as it does. It butts you. Or press damage. And proceeds to oh, walk shit. forward. Complete chad energy of this guy. Oh, Walks into the it. middle of the room. He knows what's good. Shit. Rupert. Tiny bird, move out of the way. Wait, wait, where did it go? The zombie? Yeah. You, it, it's behind you. Oh, I didn't realize it was in his face. He's, he's right there. 
I, well, it's hard to see with Corby. Corby's fine. Okay. Shakin's not. I mean, like, I, I don't see the zombie, it's just uh, Corby. Uh, John Zombie's right here, mate. Okay, uh, then I guess switching to my dagger. 22 Perish, for 3. Please. Die! Lower than an 8. Not lower than an 8. No. Motherfucker. I Fine, guess... I'll then move here to block it from Jack and... Kill. Corby. I'm rolling publicly uh, now, man. <laughs> Drop bow, draw out weapons. Rockets. Just 20 for 6, uh, hits, and then I... Lower than 11. Die. Die. <laughs> 17 for 3. Die. <laughs> 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 Why won't you die? <laughs> the immortal zombie. It's my turn. This <laughs> is getting beyond the fucking joke. See ya. Okay, bonus action, face step. I'm getting the fuck away from this. Uh, oh, wait, don't, don't, don't. oh, you could just have picked it. There's a, a thing yeah, for it. Uh, do what? There's a, a template for it that actually tem teleports you. Oh. And the creature needs to make a wisdom saving throw against oh, yeah. your spell date save DC. Wisdom, not its strong suit. Oh. It's now frightened of Zadia for its turn. Okay, and as my action, I'm gonna fireboard it. Oh, one minute. <laughs> Even worse. Rocket, please, for the love of God. Nat 20. 12 for oh, 1. <laughs> Oh my shit. god. Oh shit. <laughs> What's a zombie? I don't know. He's on a leash at this point. <laughs> you keep it. You keep it as a pet. But I want to check now. I want to check. Because at this point, I'm giving you. I'm, I'm giving, see what I can. Disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls as a fucking save. Damn it. Can we keep it as a pet? <laughs> Just start wildly flailing everyone. <laughs> Or, please. Uh, or, or uh, he's going to try casting Word of Radiance on it. Oh, thank fuck. Oh, yeah, sorry, the wisdom, the constitution save. So oh, we, just God. So, <laughs> which, is, it, it, which is his good save. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it doesn't take any damage. Tarsival, please kill it. I can't make promises. What so fucking did that? I will give you my liver if you kill it. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Shit, I don't really... All I can do is really... Stab! This. You, you've just got to make it take make saves. Got to make, no, got, no, well slow. I'm got, gonna do you need, 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 need to make that disadvantage you within five foot. Cover over, hit the negative sign on the left. One damage. This music at this point is for the zombie, not us. <laughs> the zombie's the main character now. <laughs> and it takes a swipe at you. Is you take. Can, it, can it make reaction attacks? Because of frightened? No, because of zombie. Yeah. And, okay. and frightened. Right. So, uh, no, boom, boom, boom. Parsable, who has all that. What? Uh, Jack and privately, 1d20, please. Really hanging on to that false life. It fucking is! We've killed cultists, and this is what stops us. <laughs> is this one fucking zombie? The gatekeeper zombie. It's gonna turn around and mash Rupert. Why not Corby? <laughs> you walk past it. Corby's just been there. Rupert, please put me out my misery. I'll do it. Okay, anything. first, first, hand axe. Oh <laughs> goddammit, the hand axe thing is happening again. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, it's cause no, that's cause it's that's cause it's what that's throwing. Don't worry, uh, I'll fix this very quickly for you. 
Um, there nope. you go. It's seen about ammunition there. Okay. Six. Oh my god. For one. I have I have a dagger attack left though. Please tell me it fails. Oh shit. <laughs> Does anyone have rope? You can just tie it up. <laughs> oh god. I'm fucking done. Can I can I give Corby rope as a free action? Just object get into right. action, sure. Tie it up at this point. No, he just, no, he just stabs it again. Just fucking seven misses. Oh, oh fuck that man! <laughs> please, please, please! It, it kills me. It, it kills does, me. Doesn't it get on in that twenty. Yeah. As you just <clears throat> right in there, as you watch as it finally collapses. As everyone watches and waits and waits and waits. But it just to make not sure, get Ru back up. just to make sure it doesn't get up, Rupert's just gonna stomp on his head. <laughs> just stay, go. Did it not see your turn, Corby? Yeah, it's my turn. Zidia. Okay, is there? Uh, do I see anything uh, left to attack? There's nothing left to attack. No, yeah. Everyone cheers and jeers as this zombie finally hits the fucking ground. There is brain matter on my boot. That took, that I, took five fucking rounds, guys. I saw that uh, Jigen has uh, left us for now, so I'm gonna try a medicine check on him. Left us is a beautiful way of putting it, but yeah, God, you do yeah. stabilize just when this, just the right gnats we need. So you do it's stabilize him. We it's end. The Doesn't he come back to one hit point with that? For the sake of it, I'm gonna say yeah. Because we went through a lot there. <laughs> as, it, as it does, it kind of comes to and it's a shake and a... Before you hear off to the east. This... And this flailing noise of shaking... But I feel after that we should definitely pick this up next week. Yeah. Yeah, that was a lot. <laughs> that was a little zombie that could. <laughs> you could see as people were like making more hits, you could see Farswell in the corner just like making very silent, tired prayers. <laughs> we're all making tired prayers. <laughs> <laughs>